100 was just a warm up, I suppose. I think so. I think so. Matthias, his teammate, with a 4 11 7 5. Martinique will come 1 2. And third coming out, it is Ethan from Antigua. Great touch with a 4 13. What a great swim. What a great swim. Look at this. Look at this. Jeez. Look at this. We will definitely see Ethan again later on in that 100 breaststroke. And then again later on, hopefully, in that relay. Look but at this wow. finish, Alia. Watch this finish. I mean... Oh, I'm telling you, Matthias was ahead at the 15-meter mark. And Kimani had another gear. Beautiful. So we are going to take a pause from racing here for just a second. And we have a guest with us. Woo we are... <laughs> We have Zachary Gresham. I have spoken about him numerous times. Backstroke specialist, we'll see him starting to branch out. He was third in that 100 free, third in the 50 press. All right. <laughs> third in that 50 back, second in the 100 back, oh, yeah. and second in that 100 butterfly. We are so happy to have you here. How are you feeling? Um, Very nice. Yeah. Um, really like my time here in Bahamas. Yeah. Very welcoming, very nice. Yeah. Thank um, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just excited. I have two more races tonight. Yeah. And yeah, I'm ready. What are the two races tonight? 100 back. Um, no, no, no 100 200 back. Sorry. 53. 53 and 100 breasts. Breast. What? Yes. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Because the 200 is exhibition for 18 and over. <sighs> there it is. There it is. That's why he's a sprint specialist My bad. here at this competition. Yep. I have been so happy at the way Grenada has come out and dominated these races. What is the tactic? What was the mental strategy in the in the in the ready room and in the tent coming into this Carrift Games? Well, it started ever since I think last year. Last year we only got about three medals. Mm. So <laughs> Tell it, that, that's already <laughs> yeah. in two days. Yeah, so it was we we really didn't like that. So we started training like a lot more, even on Sundays now, and it's been a lot harder. Yeah. Um. And yeah, so that really has started since last year. And then ever since, like, after COVID, it's been kind of hard for us. But yeah. that's why we performed as good as we did last year. But um, yeah, within the last year, we've actually trained, I think, like, the hardest that we have ever. And it's showing. I, mean, I love that. You, you said you guys saw what it felt like. As Alia was saying earlier, you get a taste of it and you want more. Yep. Yeah. And it yeah. sounds like as a team, everybody kind of committed to being, to taking that next level and leveling oh, yeah. up. And you can see it, not just in the way they, their, their strokes have changed, their mental strategy has changed. Yep. And the body, the physical bodies that they have are so, <laughs> I can't express because, okay, 2008 Olympics, <laughs> Usain Bolt came to me, he's like, oh, you're, you're soft. All right, that's how <laughs> swimmers are. 2012, a huge change for me in my body. And he's like, oh, you finally look like an athlete. Good oh. job. Wow. And I ended up getting fourth. So, I mean, it, there is some truth to it. Yeah. But to see you guys really physically change into that athletic body and then attack the mental part of it as well, it's yep. a testament to how great you guys are doing at this well, championships. Yeah, I definitely feel like, um, to Alia's point, it's kind of like the transition to being like, I belong here. Yes. Yep. Sounds like, like you guys were like, wait a second. Yeah. We don't, it doesn't matter that we are a small team. We're mighty. Yes. And we're yes. going to show them. It's yep. all about it. Talo! <laughs> yeah. What? I, no, I'm not going to repeat what that. What did you I'm not <laughs> repeating that. I'm not repeating it. <laughs> Was that English? Yes. Okay. <laughs> to, a, to a certain extent. Um, after this medal ceremony and the, the awards, I want to talk a little bit more about your progression. I've seen you when you were younger. You have been yes. dominating, dominating. Yes. And I was hoping that I would have seen you on that collegiate level. I saw you at these championships in South Florida Aquatic Club earlier, um, a week ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is going on with you? I know you're prepping for Olympics, you have all these other things, but what, yeah. what's your next three year, four year plan? Um, this year I'm definitely gonna start university. Okay. Um, I plan on going, taking it like serious, going to all these different meets. Uh, as to which schools I'm looking at, I'm not sure as yet, but I do have a couple in mind. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to probably do a junior college for two years, then go on to university. And Are yeah, I, yeah. Fall 2024, you're going to college? Yeah, this year. We have, we have three it's days. It's April. We have, we... I know. And you don't know. It's a bit, it's a bit last minute. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. Leave him be, Alia. I am leaving him be. I am, I am. <laughs> 
I'm a huge fan of trying to get into college early, and we spoke to the Howard coach about that 15, 16 age group really trying to reach out to, uh, to coaches and get, get a taste of what it's like and to choose really early where you want to go because a lot of the spots do fill up. A lot of the scholarship yeah. does fill up. Yeah. And it's really great because you're taking this year to really experience all the different competitions, which is fun. Taking that academic break is fun. Yeah, and going into, is. right? Don't get, don't, don't get too comfortable. <laughs> I, see, I see that smile. <laughs> don't do that. But I'm really excited to watch you progress. Thank Athletes you. change in college completely. Yep. yep. Yeah. So excited. Thank, Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Anything you want to say for Grenada, it is the last session. Any big up you want to say right now for your team? Yeah, um, special shout out to Sarah. Whoop. You know, a lot has happened this past weekend and she still had the strength to still swim that 400 iron. So a yeah. huge, huge shout out to her. Um, and yeah, I'm very happy with this team. Yeah. This is, I think, almost the most amount of the medals we ever got at a career after, ever. So, Beautiful. very happy. Beautiful. And again, congratulations. Oh my gosh, yes, Grenada has have. Reagan, you the yes, we do and understand. Sarah and we are very grateful just for the tenacity your team has Tobago. done yeah. to get to where you are today. And yeah. moving forward, I think it's going to be Our great for Grenada. Focus, Thank you. I'm Thank very you. excited to watch your career and as you progress. Please figure out college soon so we don't have yes. an anxiety attack. Please. I will. Uh, honestly, we are here. There have been so many people who have done it before you. Reach out and ask. So many athletes that have swam in the Caribbean and now are assistant coaches and head coaches. Yep. Yep. Reach out and ask. Yeah, I, I think by the end of this month, definitely. This I'll have month? It. <laughs> no. no. Tomorrow. Dude. Tomorrow. Actually, yeah, yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> This has been Zachary Gresham. We will see him later today yes. in that 50 free and 100 fresh. Good luck Thank later you. today. And we oh will gosh. be on you tomorrow. Oh, I'll be checking what, in. What's your Instagram? I'm I following you. And, I got okay. it. Okay. I'm going to follow you and I'm going <laughs> to irritate you. <laughs> what is it? What's the decision? Where are we? What do you need? What are we doing? Who are we talking to? Yo, what calls do you have planned? Basically. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so for joining us. Okay. <laughs> that was Zachary Gresham from Grenada. They have done a fantastic fantastic job at this 37th curve of the games and i love what he said last year oh about him not picking a school yet <laughs> i don't love that i don't love that oh 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 and ladies and gentlemen Arush. the national Arush. anthem of jamaica Is it now mandatory to have the flag on the... On no, I think that, like... They want to, right? I, yeah. It's not mandatory. No, but I think you. everybody does it, so then you can't not do it. Yeah, because I see all these athletes. It does take <laughs> a little bit of strength to extend it, and they are tired. But it, it, it's funny. It's funny to watch. But I loved what Gresham said. Last year, they got three medals, and they said, I, we can do better than that. And they put in the work as a team, not individually, as a team, to come back and get it done. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. After this, after this set of awards, we will have, moving on, to the 50 free. It is fantastic because we saw that 800 free. We had the distance. And then we had a nice, shorter... 400 freestyle, and now we're going to end it with Ariana Vanderpool Wallace's favorite baby. <laughs> it's like I, I, I feel it in my bones. Right? It is a fantastic, a fantastic race. And if you are here, you're going to hear it. You're going to hear it in the crowd. Oh. It is going to be less than 30 seconds, depending on what event we're watching, of noise. <laughs> wow. It, literally, it'll probably only be silent for the start. Yes. And that is it for the next probably 20 minutes. Mm -mm -mm. 
on this medal podium, it is Heidi Stout getting that Ladies gold and gentlemen, medal the national win. anthem of Barbados. Beautiful swim for her. An amazing swim for Alexandria. It took guts to try and go out with Heidi, knowing what Heidi can do. And she did it, she held her own, and she got second. Fantastic touch for Martinique to get into that third place position. Absolutely. So much, I'm having so much fun watching her swim. Yeah, yeah. Really, uh, uh, never mind. I'm having fun watching everybody swim. I don't know what I'm talking about because... Watching that 200 freestyle. We do have a couple more minutes of medal ceremonies. We'll see what is. Ooh. I don't know if you can hear the horns, but I think a Jamaican is about to get up on that the podium. That is right. That is right. You have seen him Look on at those the podium. Kicks. 100 freestyle. Do the 200 kids freestyle. Say kids? I hope so. <laughs> and 400 freestyle gold medal. Connor in that second position. I, I can't tell what's going through Connor's head. I cannot. Oh, I meant to comment on this. Um, Sobers on the podium just you, now. You saw that, right? Yes. It's going to be epic in oh. that 200. But he is I... heaved. Uh. And you know what? That are, that's one of my favorite times to race. I hate being in that emotion, but I, I am sorry for the rest of the... the I the, am so <laughs> excited. Woo! You're right. You're right. It can. Jamaica. It can. It can. It can, it can go both ways. Yes, yes, it can. If he knows how to challenge that, or to channel that in the right way, it could work. It can be good. It can work, it can work. There have been many times where I either slipped on the wall, I had a, I had a bad turn, I, I breathed into the wall, uh, and I ended up getting second. And I knew, I knew it was down to that one thing or two things that I did wrong that I, I knew I wasn't supposed to, and I am peeved. Yep. And I remember my mother looking at me, and she spoke to the coach, and she's like, she's ready. Yep. That next event, she is ready. Yep. Woo! If you know me or you see me around, you do know I smile a lot. Before <laughs> those races and behind the block, it is 100% serious. If you know me, you know I don't smile a lot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I smile a lot when I'm not swimming, but uh, get me in race mood, and I just... I'm mad at the world. I am mad at the world if I'm in race mood. I think I actually told the story a couple days ago with the NCAAs. I was swimming the 100 or the 50 freestyle. I was supposed to win. I ended up coming third. I took that anger and just let it rip on the 100. And I think that that's what we're about to see out of Sobers. I wish we could go back and replay his face on the podium because that was some, some, he is telling the world. And again, I really hope that he can channel that properly because sometimes it, it, it can, especially for a 200 backstroke, it can, Ladies and gentlemen, the it can get to the point. Of the Cayman Islands. For the 200 back, it could result in a just him spinning out and being a little bit too intense. So I really hope that he is able to channel that correctly. We are looking here at Harper Barrett, or Harper Barrett. <laughs> she is not related to Noland. Harper Barrowman, Tilly Collimore. 
getting their medals. And then we have one more medal ceremony here with the 50-17 400-meter freestyle. So impressed by Kamani Bellinger in that 400. He just swam the 800 at 6 o'clock. He had about 30 minutes to warm down, get dry, because you don't want to be waiting for your race wet, because it is windy and cold, and then get back onto the block. What an impressive swim by him. Martinique is just raking in the medals, apparently, this afternoon, evening. But not to be discounted, absolutely amazing swim by second and third there for the men's 400 meter freestyle. I mean, I've said it numerous times. It's not just about how dominant Bahamas is. It's about how dominant the Caribbean is progressing. Martinique, first and second. They're raking in the medals tonight. Wow, Kamani, that's his second goal. The gentlemen, yep. 13 and 14, 800 meter freestyle. Oh, is. I'm not even, I can't sit down. <laughs> I can't sit down. What are you most excited about right now? Besides the whole, I, I mean, don't. There's so many people that's gonna be in this event and they have swam that 800, they've swam that 400. Like, <sighs> the range is incredible. Of so, the okay, I'm gonna go race by race here. 11, 12 girls are gonna be our first off alert, the block. Alert, alert. Kia alert, warning. Also, we just talked about her in that 400 freestyle. Lawson is gonna be back. Yep. We're gonna yep. see her again. Oh, we still have the 800 freestyle awards. We forgot about them. Ah, oh, they're doing it after. Yeah. Okay, okay. We forgot about them. Man. Oh. The excitement, we're gonna sit down. I'm gonna sit back down. <laughs> That is awesome. Look at William Farrington there on the oh, podium. Look at that strut. Oh my God. His shoelace needs to be tied. Okay, I William. I feel like his shoes are humongous. Oh my gosh, are they that small? Yes, Alia. I've said it already. When you see them swimming, they swim big. Not wide, long. And that is what you want. Really, really being efficient with your technique. Look at them. Oh, uh -huh. that's not nice. <laughs> 13, 14 next year, we're gonna say, how did you grow this? Seriously. Like, what happened? Seriously. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna relish in this moment. Wow, this is a 13, 14, 800 free. After this, we're gonna have the 15, 17 category of that 800 free. We're gonna see Kimani back again for his gold. For his gold? Are you saying it? You're saying Kimani Bellinger is gonna win? No, 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 the 800. Oh, the oh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. I, I zoned out for a second. <laughs> And again, congratulations to the gentleman. Man, we have one more, one freestyle. more meta ceremony to go before this 50 Islands, freestyle. Bahamas, William, the you see these ladies, the they are, Martin, oh my gosh, Sparks. they are behind the blocks getting ready. But put your jackets back on. It's put your jacket cold. back on. Put, and you can put, see them rubbing the. Put your jacket back on. Girls. There's no reason why they should have taken off their jackets already. Oh, what's that? Ferguson. She's shivering. <sighs> okay, okay, to each their own. And once again, as we said with 11-12, it is an education thing. This is experience. They are learning, but at this point, if you're cold, put your jacket on. It looks like um, behind lane five, um, <laughs> Seymour started to take her jacket off, and then she was like, actually, I don't think I like that idea. We 
we have numerous athletes putting on their jackets. Ali and I are motioning <laughs> to them to put their jackets on. And they're looking at us like we're greasy. <laughs> she says no. It's all right, they're gonna focus on their race. More athletes are now putting on their jackets, which is great. You can, great. They're also sitting down, which I think is great. You don't want to, what happens when you shiver is your body is mm -hmm. using energy yep. to oh. warm you up. All the muscles that they warmed up previously are now getting cold. And when you're on that block, you want everything to be warm. You want your fast reaction to it. Muscles to be ready. And if it's cold, it's not gonna work. That was a different Any anthem games? than we heard for Kamani earlier. I don't think so. Was it? Yeah, just a while ago, yes. Oh my gosh. We've said it already. Martinique's dominance is phenomenal here. They are again 800 free style first and third. First and second 400 free. First and third 800 free style. Alert, alert, warning, <laughs> warning, alert, alert. Oh, we man. are about to see. Yep, yep. yep. And you know what? We thought Alison Ferguson would be swimming that 400 free. We were surprised she wasn't in it because she was dominant in that 400 individual medley. But maybe she was resting for this 50 free. She is behind the blocks. She is ready. I love that they're not looking at each other. They're looking at the distance that they have to cover. Oh, oh, there's a little trash in the pool. They are taking that out. That is Eastman. Where'd she just come from? I. I think she was the alternate, so maybe she was behind the blocks getting ready. She, but I don't know. No, she is. She's the second alternate. Yeah. But. It is getting windy here. The sun has gone down. There is a chill in the air. Their suits are wet because they have already swapped. Oh, there it is. There is it. Mm. So I don't need to do an alert anymore because Jamaica is right. Yeah. Yeah. They have those horns next to us. We have two Jamaicans in this heat. And as we said already, this is equivalent to that 100. And you know how we love that 100 sprint. This is our 50 sprint. And we love it. My word, Kia Alert, she won that 100 free. She won that 50 breasts. We're going to see her now in that 50 She was free. the only person under 29 this morning. Yep. I'm sorry, the only 11, 12 under 29 this morning. <laughs> Lane six, it is Regan. She had a fantastic swim in that 400 earlier today. She's back again for another record. Same thing with Zara in lane seven. Okay, Kia Larson, she was out of it in that 400. It is a sprint. Hopefully she'll have a better touch and not injure herself. There it is, they and are they're off. off. Kia Larson in lane two. Whoa, look at Kia Larson go. Look at Zara in lane seven from Trinidad. Kia is moving away from the rest of the pack. Oh, look at her go. Look at that dominance. I don't know that I can tell you guys what, look at lane seven. Oh, beautiful, 27 by five. 27 by five for Kia Alert. Bahamas Seymour getting her hand on the wall with a 28-4-3. And Zara back after that 400 free to get third for Trinidad with her 28 as well. <laughs> 27, guys. <laughs> what? 27. 50 free breaststroke champion. 100 free breaststroke champion. 50 free. Did, did I not say? Alert, alert, yes, warning. Yes, Every time she hits the pool, I'm shocked. A beautiful swim. A 27.5, Elia? And you know what? Everybody was with her up to the 25. And the strength that she has to move away from the pack in that last 25, she, you can see why she won the 100 free. You can see the dominance in her stroke to go 102. Like, really? Please look at lane number one. Oh, so, okay, so he may look small, but he is mighty. That is Sean I know. from Curacao. We've, we've spoken about him numerous times, and here he is in a 50 free final. Oh my gosh, my heart. <laughs> Lane six, it is Arush. We saw him win that 400 freestyle. 
lane four, it is Joseph. He came third in that 400 freestyle with the call in lane three. Woo! Look at Simmons. He has been look with... At, look at Joseph. Woo. Look at Joseph. Simmons is trying to go with Joseph. Joseph said, no, I got third earlier today. I want my goal. There it is. Joseph coming in. He's going to stop the clock. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 25.78. Guys, he's 12. That's a new meet record, by the way. He is 12. I, I. Coming in second, it is Simmons with a 26.59. And third, I, I, I'm sorry, guys, I missed it. What board has turned to new record? It, look, it's got, it would be close. It looks like it is a Rubo Windenhall for that third position. Look at Team Bahamas over there. They Twenty are losing oh, it. Oh. First, uh, one, two, tag there for the Bahamas. If you look at that time, with the new oh, it is a Rubo for third with a 28. Oh, nice. Oh, look at him. Oh. That is a phenomenal swim. A 25. Look. No. Look at the 13, 14 boys. They all went the, the, the top. <laughs> number eight is a 25, nine, one. In lane number three, he already made the finals for 13, 14 as a 12 year old. Aruba, and we, we've already said, we've, one, it's the Cayman Islands. we've already said how much they grow yes. in this next year. He's just starting. His, he is taller than the rest of the pack. So that is an advantage at 11, 12. But that only means he has so much more to grow moving forward. Okay. We have seen an 11, 12 girl go 27, 55. We have seen an 11, 12 boy go 25 seconds. Okay, so going back, we have the, 11, the 13, 14 girls. Only three this morning went 27. Alert was a 27 in 11, 12. She would have been top four from this morning times. At 12. She was a 27.55, she would have been, she would have been first. <laughs> Not if Heidi Stout has anything to say about it. This is event 108 girls, 13, 14, 50 meter freestyle. Emily McDonald's record of 26.73. Anything can happen right now, guys. I, oh, they're telling the girls to sit down. So there looks like. No, they were saying the photographer. Oh, to move. <laughs> the main Indian oh. photographer was trying to get in on the action as well. Cause that's an epic shot. That is an epic. The side opinion? shot is actually better. We've seen a lot of Olympic races on that side shot. It's beautiful. You're right. You're right. There it is. Heidi Stout right beside her. It is Simmons. Woo. The left Gibson 0.65 reaction time. Richards 0.67. We saw Richards in that 50 fly. She was dominant. Let's see if she can do it in the 53. Look at Barbados trying to get that one, two. Is it Simmons or is it Heidi? I can't tell. I cannot tell yet. Heidi. It looks like Simmons has just a little Woo! bit. Nope, 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 nope. There it is. 26.91 for Heidi Stout. 1,500, 800, 400, 200, 100, and now 50. Gold medal race for Heidi Stout. Here at the Carifa Games. Oh my gosh. 26.91 for Heidi Stout. Coming in second, it is Jaya Simmons with a 27 2 2 and third. It is Jamaica Richards with a 27. Richards will get another medal in this 53. And it is Barbados for that 1 2. That is phenomenal for them. They are now in fifth position. Oh. So with these 1 2s, they could potentially catch Jamaica in that fourth place position. Oh, shot. <laughs> <laughs> if we all combine, maybe we can catch Bahamas. With our powers combined. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Look at these okay. guys. Once okay. again, it is the boys 13, 14, 50 meter preset. Only one guy has gone under 25 in this Ashby's morning. Session. Goggleless. Ashby is goggleless. We're gonna talk to him later. Nice start for these guys. 0 0.62, 0 0.64, 0 0.65. Jaden Mills in lane four from Trinidad. He's the only one under 25. We're going to see how many guys can go under 25 seconds, especially after they saw a 12-year-old go 25 as well. I'm still not over it. <laughs> Look at Connor in lane five. 
Oh, he is coming back very yes. strong. Oh, my it's going God. to be 24-96 for Trinidad and Tobago's Jaden Mills. Coming in second, it is his teammate, Aaron, with a 25-1-9. And third, Bermuda. Connor does a fantastic job of getting his hand on the wall. He's going to come in what third a close with race. a 25. And you know what? Lane six, Nolan Barrett. We spoke about how dominant he is in freestyle, and we said, you know what? Where does it stop? It looks like he goes 100, 200, 400, maybe 800. But that 50, he is coming in. He is tired. We're going to give him that. But that is a fantastic race for all the gentlemen. Alia. Alia. We have three more to go. We have three more. Oh, we have four more to go. We have the 18 and over. Woo! Here we go, here we go, here we go. We spoke about Tilly Collimore so many times already, how dominant from that 1500 all the way down, and she has made the 50 free final at these championships. It's really difficult for a distancer to do that. We've seen it numerous times, I know, but that is actually unheard of. Leah Chin, in her first year, 1517, yep. making the 50 free final. Yep. She had struggles in that backstroke, so her confidence was kind of waving. But to come back and make it in at 53 just shows that you have to have that versatility. Oh, my word. Woo! You see that underwater I by Jillian Crow. I saw it. Amari Ash in game six is trying to go with her. It is a beautiful race. Look at that. Christina Shirley in lane five. She has not gotten the medal yet. She is trying to go with Jillian Crow. She's fatiguing. Woo! Oh, my gosh. 26-2-0 by Jillian Crooks there. Look at Gibbs. 26-2-2. She was Two trying. one hundredth of a second. She was trying to out-touch Crooks. And at the last second, if it wasn't for that underwaters from Jillian Crooks, Gibbs could have potentially out-touched Jillian Crooks. I think I'm going to pull a muscle. <laughs> Look at Shirley. Look at Shirley from Jamaica. She has gotten herself to the wall. I need you to turn around, Dahlia. I'm sorry, I have to focus on the girls until it's finished. Good job. One, two, three. Cayman, Bahamas, and Jamaica. Well done. I am now turning because we have the men. I'm gonna say the men. It should not be boys. The men, 15 and 17. We have Antoine Desang, who we just saw. We have Zachary Anthony from Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> we have Tristan Dorville from St. Lucia. We have Marvin Johnson. Oh, 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 oh. Malcolm is getting a bit excited. We are not on the blocks yet. We have James Allison from Cayman Islands, Liam Carrington from Trinidad and Tobago, Malcolm from Jamaica, and Jaden Crows. This is a star-studded event. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And they're off. And they are off. Point five Point five nine. nine. For Marvin. Point Nine for Marvin Johnson. Jamaica is trying to get that really even. Eight seven. Jaden is right with them. They are all together, guys. I can't even tell. They are I don't all know together. What I'm at. It looks like Marvin has just a slight lead. Marvin is extending his lead. Just Here, a slight lead. Comes, Come on, Marvin. Here comes Tristan from. Woo! James Allison trying to get that third. 22.96 for Marvin Johnson. 22.96 for Marvin Johnson. He is going to University of Florida next year. It's this year. He's going to be a fantastic asset to that already phenomenal team. Coming in second, it is James Allison. He actually goes to Auburn, so they're going to have to fight against each other again in their collegiate career. And for that third position, it is St. Lucia Tristan, 33, 17. I don't know that I can tell, I can't, I, I don't think that I can express. Look at those smiles. <laughs> how impressive a 22 is. If we look back at the previous heat, Dylan Carter went a fantastic morning swim with a 22. We have the women first. Four. No, no, no. I'm talking about that 22-9 oh, okay. that Sorry. Marvin did. He's Sorry. in that 22 range. Alia. We spoke about those obstacles, and getting under 23 is one of them. Elia, we are seeing some absolutely absurd 50 freestyles. Next up is event 112, the women 18 and over. We know that Madeline Moore from Bermuda and Cheryl Thompson from Trinidad, 31 and 23, are going for their cuts. How close they get to it, we'll see it. It is a 24-8-2. That is super fast, guys. 
There they are, beautiful I did start. Look, I did look this morning, and my time to make the final of 2012 Olympics was a 24-6. That's how fast the 24 that was people. top eight. That was yep. top eight. Yep. Beautiful swim from Adeline Moore. She did not turn that 100 freestyle yesterday to really save up for this 53. Cheryl Thompson is going to go. Ooh. OK, on, Sabrina Cheryl. Lynn. Ooh. Coming in for that late surge. In lane three, Sabrina Lynn, 25, she got, 8, 2. She has got to be pumped for that. Look at that. Look at that. We've seen her in that 53. We've seen her in that 50 fly. Now here she is. She we seen her in that 50 breasts. Alia. Beautiful. So look at that. Look at this recap. She came in so fast. You see the wave coming in behind her. Just oh, into Alia. that touch. She has caught up Madeline. She caught up Cheryl. Last five meters to out touch them all. I don't know if I can watch this. <laughs> here we are, guys. This I feel is sick to my It is not boys. It is men. This is the men. 18 over, 50 freestyle. We already know that Dylan Carter has his A time, his Olympic qualifying time. We'll see him later this year at the Olympic Games in Paris. He is trying to go as fast as he can at the beginning of the year. When he is working hard, when he tapers down and he starts to rest, he's going to go phenomenal. But the time that he produces now is going to be great. Right beside him it is Lamar Taylor from Bahamas. I had, I had he is going for his... to talk to him last night before he went home. And he said, Mom, I have to go home. I have to take a test. <laughs> Look at them go. Beautiful underwaters for Dylan. I'm gonna have to be quiet for a second. Lamar knows he has to go with Dylan if he wants to get that cut. The cut is 22.07. Dylan has already gone under 22 seconds. Dylan is extending his lead. How are you? 21.98 for Dylan Carter, under 22 seconds. Lamar Taylor, 22-3-2. He will be shy of that B cut, but he has been cutting down that time every single time he swims. Bahamian Nationals is going to be fantastic for him to try and get his cut again. I'm fairly certain that is the best time for him. Yeah. It's a really great time. You can see he was with Dylan Carter up until that 35-meter mark, and you saw Dylan start to move a little bit ahead of him. This is going to be great for him moving so, forward. I love Lamar Taylor. I am so proud of him and very excited for his future. But take a quick look at Antigua, yep. Stefano Mitchell. Yep. We talk about boundaries. We talk about how tough it is to get under. He said, all right, 23, see you <laughs> later, 22.99. Yes. yes, we spoke about Antigua and Martinique and how these countries are, and Grenada, and how they're really coming up, not just making finals, but on that podium as well. And we saw Mitchell yesterday just dominating that 100 free. Here he is again, getting third in a fantastic star-studded oh. heat. My back. We are going to rest a little bit while these medal ceremonies are going to happen. My back. I mean, we, as in we're going to sit down. We've been My standing. legs. We've been standing this entire 53. My body. We're going to take a seat, and we're going to be joined by Ooh. Lance Rochester. He is the president of Jamaica Federation. Lance, we have been excited, excited, Oy. excited over the new changes that will be coming for Jamaica soon. I know I spoke to you around earlier this year in Doha. You spoke about all the different things that you're planning for Jamaica's future. We have changed the federation, and I think that's a great step forward because we have seen difficulties with our federation so far. Right now, everybody's excited. You're young, you're from a water polo and a swimming background. We we're I was just gonna say, so I feel like you have to be the youngest right? federation president. I think I've, I've seen Aruba, no. Bermuda and Cayman does have some young ones, some young females that I swam with. But male? I'm not that young, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, at least you look young. You look young, lads. <laughs> yeah, uh, guys, I'm just getting over the first time seeing someone go under 22 seconds see? in real life. <laughs> so, you know, I'm struggling a bit. Yeah. If you'll forgive me. No, um, no, I'm right with you. We are right there with you. We watched uh, 11, 12. He's 12, 25. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's been an amazing competition so far. Yes. Very excited about it. Um, the character games in many ways, not always, but in many ways, reminds me of champs in Jamaica. That, yep. 
Um, and I think that it's such an important stepping stone for athletes to get that level of exposure and experience 100%. in the Caribbean environment. It's that crucible that forges mm -hmm. um, greats like you guys. <laughs> um, and so it's such an important and exciting event. Yes, Jamaica has big plans. Yeah. We're an aquatics association, so swimming is the core. And we, of course, want the greatest things for swimming. We're focused on all disciplines, all eight of them. I count eight, eight. Alia. Eight. Yeah, I think, what's the oh, difference? Oh, beach polo. Beach polo or master swimming. I'm not sure which one is the difference. Ma master swimming and beach polo but, would but, push that six to eight. But I count eight. So swimming <laughs> is, is the core. beach polo? Oh, that's one of the most exciting um, events you. that you can really imagine. Yeah, and we yeah, use yeah. the natural assets which yeah. we have in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Um, which, incidentally, we want to use more in terms of spreading swimming all island. Yeah. We want pools. We want the nice, fancy pools like we have here. Mm -hmm. But because we won't get that in the very short term, we have to find creative solutions. Yes. And our natural assets provide that to us. So we want to build pools, which, are, incidentally, many Caribbean countries have. We spoke to Bonaire, who has now had a sea pool. Right. And they're doing fantastic. Martinique has, yep. Guadeloupe have. Yep. Yep. And so we want to use any creative mechanism that we can find to get Learn to Swim yep. going. Yep. Unnecessary drownings, guys. Yep. We need to deal with that issue. Uh, we can't be surrounded by water and have such a low you know, swimming rate. Yes. Um, and yes. so let's focus on the base. Let's ensure also that our athletes are getting the absolute best interventions in their career path mm. um, in a high performance setting which may not be the australian institute of sport trillion dollar no. um, venture but we have great sports scientists mm -hmm. great nutritionists mm -hmm. physiotherapists we need to get the infrastructure we need to get the technology involved but i think that's something like looking at alia atkinson world record holder she didn't have the australian trillion dollar no. backing you no. don't no. is it nice sure do you need it? No. I think that's a narrative because a lot of people look at me and I'm like, oh, well, she had this and this and this. But when you talk to me, you're like, no, I had to go to a wholesale place to get my suits. Yeah. I had the suits that went all the way. You know, the, the, like the eight-year-olds when I'm having the like, liquid <laughs> I was rocking that at 16. Like, I had to go through a very humble beginning for me to you really You got to where I you am. were because of hard work and grit. Yep. It wasn't given. It was not given. It was not given. So anyway, I'm sorry. That's cool, guys. I, I'm in full agreement. I mean, we start from the premise that the Caribbean can produce the absolute best in the world. Yes. Agreed. As a premise. Yes. As the fact that maybe unproven in some respects, you guys proved that, right? But we want to demonstrate that across the board in all oh. disciplines yes. aquatic. Yes. And we're committed to doing so. Yeah. I think... Oh, key alert. Yes. Alert, alert. Yeah. Warning. Warning. How great it is to see... Yes, the 15-17 is always going to be challenging. These guys are huge, and they have the experience. But when you look down at the 13-14 and 11-12, you have such fantastic talents like Kia Alert coming out of Jamaica. How proud of you just for, for her and all the 11-12-year-olds and 13-14-year-olds. But how hopeful are you for the future of Jamaica Swimming? I'm as hopeful as one can be. Okay. I mean, we know the capacity is there. Is there. We know the potential is there. It is for us to support our athletes. Yes, we want more. We want everybody to get the opportunity to learn, to be exposed. We want to support our, our athletes towards elite level. I want our athletes to enjoy their swimming. Mm. You know, I want them to love it. Yeah. Um, win, lose, or draw. I want them to see that bright future for them. Yeah. Well, Long-term athlete development. We were talking about it. I can't remember who we were talking about it with, but think about and Jamaica's population is probably triple the Bahamas I don't even know what y'all's population is but three million okay way more than triple <laughs> and um, the oh, one second of Jamaica And again, congratulations. So, three million, and of those three million, how many of them can be elite swimmers that just don't have access, just don't know? They go into track and field because it's, yep. it's accessible. Or it can be, Jamaica could put together a water polo, an apparently beach polo team. <laughs> We're gonna talk about beach polo after this. How have I never heard of this? <laughs> it's relatively new. But, but 
three million people, and you're telling me you have one world record holder in swimming? That's can you imagine? And it's, really, it's the priority and where we're really invested over the years. I mean, athletics has always had that cycle and they've always had that sustainability of really great people. They have different ventures where they go out around the nation and find these athletes. And it's great when you've seen it happen, you know that the, the, the paperwork works. Swimming is not there yet. Right. I mean, the statistics are clear. At least three quarters of Jamaicans can't swim. Mm. That's, and that's a shame. It's about the same statistic here in the Bahamas. Yeah. Yeah, and we need to completely turn that upside down just from a moral perspective, first and foremost. Yeah. And then we can see how we can develop elite level athletes, giving them all the support that they could possibly need. Yeah. And again, I just want our swimmers to enjoy the process, to love their swimming. Their coaches can, you know, you know, put the pressure on them. From my perspective, I just want to see more athletes, support them as much as we can and see them through their whole career path. And how, what better traits would you want from a federation head to have athletes as a priority? To have athletes as a priority, but also to know that you have a staff around you that is building and helping. You don't have to do it alone. And I love it because I spoke to all the different people here already that's definitely excited for what the future holds for Jamaica Swimming. And I am excited now being out of the sport. I really wanted that transition to be a bit smoother, but we're seeing some difficulties with our 15, 17 ladies and 18 and over, getting them back excited to swim for Jamaica, to represent the black, green and gold, and to really be hopeful again that they can pursue this long into their 20s. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I'm so committed to that. I really believe in it from, you know, my generation swimming, which, by the way, is way behind you guys. <laughs> in, you know, in so many respects. I don't think time, Not just, you know, not just age and so on, but time especially. <laughs> you know, uh, you guys swim faster than I walk, basically. <laughs> um, but I think it's important to take that holistic approach to the development of yes. athletes yes. and the love for the sport and maintaining the love for the sport through the trials and tribulations with, uh, which athletes face. Um, pressure, school pressure, mm -hmm. balancing the, the student athlete mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. um, sometimes injuries mm -hmm. um, and so many other issues. We just want to ensure that we support our athletes through that um, because Life in swimming doesn't end at 16, 17 years nope. old, nor should it. Nope. Nor should it. You know, yeah. and so let's give our athletes that fighting chance. I have one more question for you on my end. So and again, you are here. This is being recorded. So think, <laughs> think carefully before you answer. I on the spot. I want to know when we can have Carifta back again in Jamaica. I have been here. You, you came yesterday, I believe. Yep. You've seen the excitement in the crowd. You've seen the drunken on You've seen Ariana over here dancing. I Not want well. that. I want that culture in Jamaica to thrive. And secondary question: If it's a two-year, three-year, or four-year plan. What are your thoughts on developing our 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, 17 athletes to really be dominant when we're back in Jamaica? Yeah, that's, um, those are tough questions. Let me start with the issue of hosting. Jamaica has built capacity in hosting over the years. We have hosted many events across disciplines. Carifta Games, when it also included artistic swimming and water polo. Yeah. Not many countries can manage that. We have hosted the Youth World Youth Pan American Games in water polo. Yeah. So we have that capacity, which we have to ensure that we do not lose. Mm -hmm. um, so we host events much more frequently. We did the Goodwill Games um, last year, yes. which was a big success. So in very short order, I'm sure that we'll be hosting, we'll be bidding and hosting the Carifta Games. Nice. Hopefully also an event like CC can. Mm. We don't have a diving program yet. Yes. But I'm confident that we will have one in short order. 
even though we have Yo Yona and Johan, the Yo <laughs> what do we call them? The Yo Yo Yo. Yo Yo. Yo we have the Yo Yo's Yo on the international stage. <laughs> I don't know stage. what that is. I don't two, know two Jamaican about. divers, Yona. We, we, oh, we, we have a lot to talk about <laughs> off okay. the air. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh, this is. How, how would Jamaica really? say it? You're learning me something. <laughs> what? Uh, that's not, not, not quite, thing. not quite, but we have a lot more to talk about <laughs> off, off the air. But yes, the, the secondary question, uh, what are we going to do moving forward from this? Because we saw Bahamas is dominant because they have the numbers. They do have spectacular talent. Not to dismiss that, but they also have the numbers come in two in each final and getting almost everybody on the podium. Right. Cayman Islands has the quality, but the numbers aren't there yet. Jamaica has the quality. How can we increase that no the number of athletes here? So there are a number of elements, I think, that contribute to performance. We have to look at all of those elements and determine what the gap is between what we're offering to our athletes and what the elites around the world are receiving. Nice. And tick those boxes um, nice. one by one. That's a strategic process which we're going through now. Mm. But I know that we have the capacity in Jamaica around um, nutrition and sports science and yep. sports medicine. Yep. We have to build out that, uh, that high performance framework, engaging all the various stakeholder, um, stakeholders like our coaches, the association for sure. Yep. Where are our gaps? We mm -hmm. look honestly internally. Um, engaging with our parents, how best can our parents support mm -hmm. our athletes, mm -hmm. um, our government partners, our private sector partners, and put the pieces together. I'm strongly of the view that the value proposition around swimming, aquatics, is the highest mm -hmm. of any sport that's out there. You do have... Swimming, I always tell people, swimming is not just a sport. It's great to learn it. It's great to continue if you want to. But swimming is a life skill. Critical life skill. Swimming as a critical life skill for rehabilitation from yes. injuries. Yes. We have so many of our track and field stars that you will see in the pool doing some exercises. Yes. Yeah, the, 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 the absolute yes. elites of the world. Um, swimming for recreation and competition and mm. so many other yeah. um, aspects yes. for fun. Um, and so we have this product that we have to better sell um, and better develop. Mm. And not everyone will be a great swimmer like you guys. You may be a mediocre swimmer like me <laughs> um, and have potential in a sport like water polo. Exactly. Um, it's a, it's and beach a polo. It's a feet. It <laughs> certainly is. I, I'm going to look into this. You I'm could. starting the Bahamas beach polo team. It's fun because it has less athletes and you can play it in a natural resource. So if you don't have a pool, if you don't, if you can't fill a whole team, now it's shorter and now we can have more representation in beach polo rather than water polo. It is beautiful. Thank you so much, Lance. Thank you, guys. For being with us. We have learned so much about the plans of what Jamaica has in store. Whenever Jamaica does get the bid for Carifta Games, Ali and I are available. Are of course. For of commentary course. purposes. Sure, no problem. <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot to ask you. How has it been these last two days, being in this crowd, listening to the next The relays. Ooh. Did you see the relay last night? Electric. Oh. Which one? Which Yo. one? Good answer. Four by two? Good answer. I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> are live on the air, Ali. Oh, yeah. yes, Which indeed. Which one of us was it that doubted Nolan Barrett? I never doubt my countryman. Stop the foolishness. That not going down. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I knew it. I'm going to pull up the, <laughs> I'm going to pull up the recording. It was you. Our voices sounded the same on that 800. Listen, guys, I have to give some credit to one of our coaches, Lemon Low. Yo. He called it from the third 50. He signaled to me so, that yes, Nolan yes. was coming back. I was talking to him this morning. On in, and he was saying it was kind of risky. He was like, oh, what is happening? And as soon as he saw the third leg jump in, he looked at the rest of the field and said, yo, they went 212 or higher. Nolan was 2 double Him can't catch them. As at the halfway mark. He did it. He did it. Yo. He did it. 
Beautiful, beautiful. No, no. Wait, just wait for the 200 relay tonight. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my voice been gone. I can't handle it. It's going to be lovely. It's going to be lovely. We'll have the 100 breasts coming up, 200 backstroke, and then we're going to end <laughs> with a fantastic <laughs> splash and dash in that, four, that 400. I need to start four stretching four now. <laughs> the only thing that would make this event better, guys, uh, no. if you no. guys were... I knew where you were going with if that. If you guys are... You guys are over 18, right? <laughs> yeah, there, there is a category for you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm double. <laughs> I was asked this morning how fast I would, if I put a suit on right now and dove in and did a 50 freestyle, how fast I would go. And I said 34 seconds. I want to know. I'm fairly confident it would be 34 seconds. I want to know. And that would be, you would have to pull me out of the pool. <laughs> oh, man. No. Swimming mm -mm. is beautiful. Kia Alert would kick my butt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she would. Yes, she would. <laughs> oh, man. Swimming is wonderful. You watch it online. It looks like they're going nice and easy, but... <laughs> They are going super fast and holding such an incredible pace and endurance, even in that 1500. <sighs> Great swim by Sabrina Lynn Ladies in that eight and, and over. Yeah. Ooh. Jamaica. And again, her gold on that wall. She is one of our Olympic gold for Jamaica. For Bermuda, so we'll see what the future holds for her. But really fantastic swimming so far here at the Carifta Games. Thank you so much, Lance. We will hear from you Thank about you Carifta in the Thank next you. couple of years. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for the opportunity, guys. I really love this event. I believe in this event. Mm. I think our region is stronger if we're working together, competing 100%. together, at times training together, 100%. benefiting from um all the various um you know countries which yes. have different levels of experience yeah. and i think we can move the region forward together Love so thank you very much for having me fantastic last words here from the new president of the asaj jamaica assuming association thank you and on you hear the crowd this is the men 18 and over Let's see if Dylan is gonna do it. Oh, oh, he is. He is getting his medal. Oh my gosh, where are his pants? Without shorts, Dylan. Dylan. This is a family event. And I've spoken over and over again. About that is okay. That is okay. As long as he brings up that. You saw the joy in Dylan Carter's face when he hit the wall. His coach up at the Wow. Stand this event sports. was fantastic. Mitchell getting under Dylan that Carter mark, that 23 mark, to get his third position. Get Lamar, 22. All right, and here it is. Dylan Carter applying. Uh, uh. <laughs> De applying. We are applauding Dylan Carter for his swim. I do believe he already had the cut. He did already have his cut, but to do it in a Caribbean event with so many other athletes. Trinidad and Tobago, the national anthem. Yes, to do it in the Bahamas, in the and Caribbean, again, with other Caribbean island athletes beside him, in a Caribbean crowd is phenomenal. He is here. <laughs> he is visible. Bless. Sorry, I'm so sorry. The visibility, I think, is key in this, because you don't just have to see him on a television at World Championships or Olympics. He I is mean, here. That is, for a lot of these swimmers, that might be the fastest swim they've ever seen. 21? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, as Lance was here before, he was astounded. He needed to process seeing somebody go under 22. I'm, I'm still processing. I'm processing wow. all of those. I'm, I, yeah. Fantastic swimming here at the 37th Carifta Games. We're halfway through our list with the relays at the end. We're going to start with the 11, 12 girls, 100 breaststroke. Beautiful swim for them. And we're going to move on to that 100. That is now two laps. These ladies are getting behind the block. There looks like there's going to be... I believe we're going to have our Prime Minister of the Bahamas address the 
crowd here. Yep, they're asking the girls to sit back down. These are very similar to the girls that were in the 53. They did not put on their jacket. Oh, Lord. I am hoping that they're going to bundle up and stay warm because the breaststroke, unlike the freestyle, you have to keep your hips and your groin warm. It does seem that there isn't a whole lot of breeze down on the pool deck. The yeah. flags are rather still. So, oh, yeah. they're putting their jackets on. There oh, it is. Yay. Fantastic. We love to see that. Beautiful. We're going to take a quick break from our regular programming to listen to the Prime Minister of the and Bahamas. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Philip Davis, Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. There it is. everyone. Are you having a wonderful time? Everyone is winning. I think all is winning. We all are winners participating here. Let me just say to you all, ladies and gentlemen, as, the, as we are about to close the curtain on this Carifta Aquatics Championship, I'm nudged into a sea of reflections. I'm not just your prime minister tonight, I'm a swim dad, turned swim granddad, who's seen more pool water than rain, cheering on from the sidelines, experiencing every heart-stopping finish, and yes, even those face palm worthy false starts. Over the past few days, we have seen athletes from 25 nations dive into the pool with the kind of passion, determination, and sportsmanship that not only brings a tear to the eye, but also an uncontrollable urge to cheer at the top of our lungs. Even if it's for a competitor who just edged out our own by a fingertip. The Carifta Aquatics Championship is far more than a competition. It's a jubilant festival of unity, friendship, and that bottle of Caribbean spirit that refuses to be dampened, not even by a splash from the diving board. I'm swollen with pride for Team Bahamas. Oh, what a journey it's been. Securing victory for the sixth consecutive time is no small feat. Our athletes, with their remarkable talent and dedication, embody the spirit of excellence that defines our beautiful nation. This is a victory, not just for the swimmers, but for every coach who's ever held a stopwatch, every parent who's mastered the art of towel drying, and indeed for every grandparent who's learned to use a smartphone just to capture that perfect photo finish. Let us also extend our heartfelt gratitude to everyone who played a part in the success of this championship. From the dedicated organizers to the tireless volunteers, from the enthusiastic fans in the stands to the families whose support knows no bounds. You are the true backbone of this event. To our athletes like Donald Sanders Jr. and Sarah Dowden, who very sadly lost their fathers, who have shown us the true meaning of courage and resilience. You have not only competed with heart, but you have inspired us with your strength. Your journeys remind us that the human spirit is unbreakable, capable of rising from the depths of adversity to the peaks of glory. Your parents are definitely proud of you. As long as I have the privilege of serving as your prime minister notice, when you are athletes committed to doing your part, showing up, diving in, giving it your all, your country will meet you in the middle. We will be there cheering you on, supporting your dreams, and providing the wind beneath your wings. 
if not the fins, if you will. So, as we bid farewell to this Grifters Aquatic Championship, let's take with us the memories, the laughs, the cheers, and the undeniable proof that when we come together, magic happens in and out of the pool. To our visitors from around the region, we are happy that you enjoyed yourself. We are happy that you came to share these moments with us. This is the kind of event that we truly exuper exhibit what, is, what it means to be Caribbean and the true Caribbean spirit. So to all our athletes, to all our future champions, and our pride, let's keep swimming, let's keep dreaming, and remember, the entire Bahamas is with you every stroke of the way. Thank you, one and all, for making this event a symbol of hope and celebration. Until we meet again, may your strokes be strong, your finishes swift, and may your swim caps never go missing when it matters most. Good night, Bahamas. That Good was night. a lovely address. Safe journeys back to all of our visitors. And I trust you had a wonderful time as we enjoyed having you here with us. Thank you. That was a lovely address from the Prime Minister of Bahamas here in the middle of the last session. I love some of the factors that he spoke about. And for him to have that foresight to know that we're going in, we do have a couple more events, but he has said it and he has that envision to say, you know what, we're going for that six feet. I'm going to speak it into existence. Yeah, uh, I think he definitely spoke it into existence um, out here this evening. I guess he must have seen the results yeah. um, that have come out so far. But, you know, it's not about the six feet. For Team mm. Bahamas, it may be about the six feet. But mm. for the rest of the swimming community, I think it's really about the camaraderie, yes. um, the family. Yeah. It's been really amazing to see how much of a family the, yeah. um, the, the aquatics um, teams are. You know, everybody yeah. gets along really well. These people swim together outside of Carifta. Yeah. And when you see them interacting with each other, yes, they're representing their own countries. Yeah. But I think at the end of the day, we are one region. And that's really been embodied yeah. um, throughout the games yeah. um, these few last days. Jillian Crooks, we've seen her numerous times, really dominant on the world stage at a young age and now here in Carifta. She must be one of those that the eventual heroes are looking at. But I've seen her in almost every delegation chatting with all the athletes. Mm -hmm. Just really lovely young girl to have that humility and that excitement and just want to make friends. Yes, and everybody, everybody's been like that. Yeah. And it's, it, like I said, it's just really been nothing short of amazing to That's see it. Lovely. Yeah. I saw um, Joseph after his 50 freestyle. A couple of the boys from the Bahamas team ran over and was hugging him. And I feel like that's like, that is the spirit that Carifta is. Yes. Um, even if you aren't on the same club team as the other people on your country's team, you become a family, and those ba those bonds will last forever. It's a lifelong, yes, and not just within country, everybody within your age group as well. Yeah, it is phenomenal, and you can watch them as they progress into their career, co uh, collegiate career, and further on in the future. Yes, beautiful. Beautiful. I think something else that is also really beautiful that um, was mentioned a little bit earlier, but I think it's worth mentioning again, mm -hmm. is that um, one of our very own from the region, Mansur Roberts, yes. was selected to be an official at the Paris Olympics. Yes. And I think that's the first time that this has happened in our region. And when they announced it earlier, everybody cheered for him. Because again, it's not about um, yes. um, an official from the Bahamas, but it's really about an official from our region. It's that representation. We, we saw it as swimmers, the representation as a black female and a black male is very rare. A Caribbean black male and female is even rarer. Yeah. And we had, we had Mansur on yes. earlier, and Ali and I both, without even talking about it yeah. before, yeah. said how amazing it is when you're at an international meet. Yeah. You're looking around, you're, you know your family is there in the stands, but to see somebody that you know and you recognize on pool deck oh is just God. a game changer. Because he's such a gentle giant. I mean, <laughs> really not, maybe does. not giant, but he's such a gentle soul that when you see him on the pool deck, it's such a warm smile. And many different things could be going on in your head while you're there for competition. But I've seen him at the Carifta Games, the CC Can, Pan Ams, Commonwealth, and now Olympics. It is fantastic for a region where we're going, not just in swimming, but all the facets of what makes sport great.
Definitely, and I think that um, that also highlights um, what our other athletes can do. It's not um, just about the swimmer. Yeah. It's just, you know, you, you may not be the best swimmer, but there are different um, things that you can do within the swimming world yes. to represent. 100%. There are 100%. different ways that you can give back into the community, whether it's as a coach, uh, getting your official qualifications, whatever it is, to do officiating, timing at a meet. All of those things are necessary. And with this 100 breaststroke, alert, 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 warning, alert. Look at her pull away from the rest of the pack in the first 50. This morning, we saw her go out fast. And we saw Isabella have a fantastic last 50 to catch her in the second 50. Is she going to do it again? We're going to find out. Look at Alert going out. She knows Isabella is coming. Oh, here comes Isabella. Wow. Alert, wow. Alert already won that 50 breast, 103, 53. She wants the 100 breaststroke as well. Look at that extension. Very different from this morning. She is now extending her arms, really forcing her elbows to elongate her upper body. Beautiful stroke. She's now moving away from the rest of the pack. And here comes Menace from Barbados. She's moving ahead of Isabella. It's going to be close for that second and third position. But here it is. Kia alert. 121.52. Isabella out touching Menace, who was coming in strong with a 123.83. And it is Menace from Barbados third with a 123.93. I'm not sure how much more my body can take, Alia. <laughs> wow, I love it, I love it. What an amazing swim by Kiel. I mean, she just, she was Look like, nope, sorry. This is mine, Stop. I'm so sorry. Love the tempo, she kept her rhythm, loved it. Look at that head, she fixed it from this morning. Yep. She's throwing that forehead down. What a great finish, kind of slow into the Ooh. wall. That is to be expected, because she looked tired. If well, she can get her feet, <laughs> she's finally tired, is it? <laughs> I mean, we're only on event 114. <laughs> Beautiful swim from Kia Alert to win the girls 11 1200 breaststroke. Isabella second and Minnis from Barbados for that third spot. Oh my gosh, coming up next, it is the boys 11 1200 meter breaststroke. We have Ethan, we saw him earlier today already. I believe he came third in that 400 freestyle. Oi. Beautiful. Take a look at Ethan. We've seen him yeah. today. We know he has some speed in him. Yeah. He came back really strong in that 400 free to see that third spot, but here he is. He's, he's three seconds off of that record. Do we? I mean, never mind. I'm not even going to say it. Because he's going to show us. I continue he to be proven wrong. Us. Look at that underwaters. Wow. Okay, is that Joseph? Joseph. Okay, Joseph. Where was that in the 200, Joseph? I think he just likes to switch it up sometimes. <laughs> Ethan said, not today. I don't care what you're doing. I am going for it. Look at Ethan extending away from the rest of the pack. Similar to what Kia did in that first heat. He is saying, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. I oh want that Oh, my record. gosh. Look at that. 113.04 oh, oh is the time to be. Okay, he is going to turn at a 30, oh, 36. 36. Six. Ooh, he needs to bring it home. He needs to bring it home now. Look at that extension. Look at his pull when he comes in. He extends really well, but look at the pull right now. That if is he, a fantastic pull. If he comes back almost even split, which he can do anything. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna put my thoughts on record. That is fantastic, he said. Christian is trying, Christian. Joseph is trying to hold on for that second position. And it is St. Vincent, Kian Deshaun, trying to get in for that third position. This will be a great swim for them. Ooh, he's gonna he's miss that record. He's not gonna make it, but uh, best time for sure. Wow. One fifteen eighty-eight for Ethan coming in second. It is Joseph with a one twenty, and Kian Deshaun coming in third with a fantastic finish. One twenty point three zero.
intro. You know, sometimes I, I don't like going on record alert because it, it almost seems like it's a letdown. A 115.88 is an insane time. That is a fart. Or an 11.12. We said it already. These records are extremely fast to begin with. And he is two seconds away from breaking that record. It's not going to happen this year. He is going to age out, but a really great swim for him in this event. Oi, here we go. If you look at the boys' 30-14, 115 will be one, two, three, four. 115 would have placed him fifth this point in 30-14. Martinique, Park number three, and Laura Eugene in the hot seat. Lane four, Bahamas. Woo. Moving on, girls, 11, 14, 100 breaststroke. We saw Osborne from League One, from the Cayman Islands. She moved from artistic swimming to swimming. She was dominant coming second in that 50 breaststroke. The 100 on the way back was a struggle. We're going to see if she's going to reserve some of that energy so she can come back strong or if she's just going to go for it. In just go seven. for it at this point. Might as well. Lane what's seven. The, what's left? <laughs> Lily <laughs> Zimmer from St. Lucia, we have faith. She won that 200 breaststroke. Let's see if she can bring it down just a little bit and have that sprint in that first 50 so she can be in a good position to come back. <laughs> Top swim it is from Saunders. She is 13. Her first year in 13 40 category with the top seed 120 13. Beautiful swim from these ladies. They're going strong in that first 12 and a half. Look at the extension from Osborne. She is going for it. Why not? Here comes Faith, going definitely faster than she did this morning. She wow. that back end speed. Wow. Look at that. Saunders is a little bit behind. More than I was Saunders is gliding a ton yes, for 100. Is. Yes, she is. I don't know her speed coming back for this 100, but we're going to see it. But it is Osborne oh. Faith. Oh! And Faith, right beside them, it is Jalen from Bahamas. Let's go, Faith. Look at Faith, lane six. She won the 200 breaststroke. She is back for the 100, and she says, nobody is catching me now. Wow, look at that extension from Faith. She is working that head position. Her kick is quick. Ooh, we have a new leader. Here comes Saunders. We just spoke We've about what? We just said how her first 50 was reserved. She was saving it. Look how fast she's coming back. What? Look how fast. Osborne. Osborne in lane one. She can get third in this event. It all depends on the touch. And it's going to be. Come on. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh. Martinique gets her hand on the wall for third. Beautiful swim for Malaya. She could not see Osborne. She did. Osborne know. took another stroke. She did. She should have just gone into the wall. She did. She did. And the fantastic thing is that Saunders with the win. She went out slower than the rest of the pack, but she came back super fast with that 119.03. Coming in second, it is Faith. She was in control at that 75, but faded just a little bit in that last 25 to get second. The race for third. Malaya did not see Osborne, and the people beside her already touched the wall, but she threw herself into the body, into the wall, and because she did that, she got third. I am just having so much fun watching these swimmers. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> Again. Oh, my God. I think I'm breaking my back. Kai Radcliffe lane four. He won that 50 breast, was dominant. In that 200 breaststroke, he went out super fast, but he fatigued towards the end and ended up second, which was a fantastic swing for him. This 100 is right in the middle. Let's see what he can do. David Singh had a fantastic competition so far. Alejandro in lane one from Trinidad. Holly. <laughs> Aaron from Trinidad. William Farrington is back again. Zachary Burke. Anthony from Aruba. Let's see what these guys can do. And it is. Look at this. Look at that front speed. Look at that dominance. Look at that stroke. Anthony in lane eight from Aruba is trying to go out, trying to get that oh, second position. Oh, my at God. Woo. 31-8-4 for Kai Radcliffe. Beautiful underwaters in that second 50. He is going. He needs to oh, go yeah. right now because right beside him is David Singh, and he is coming in strong. Look at David. David is picking up his tempo. He is increasing every stroke, and Kai is now fatiguing. 
the same thing happened in that 200 burst choke. Is the 100 enough for Kai to get his gold? Oh my word, oh my word. Come on, Kai Ratcliffe, under oh, my 110. Word. Under 110, he is fatiguing. It's gonna be close. 109.68 wow. for Kai Radcliffe. What a swim. Out in 31, coming back, he did fatigue with that 38. I would have loved to seen a 36, but I'm asking too much, Kai. That was a fantastic swim. And then second, we had David Singh Woo. and good old William Farrington. <laughs> For third, William 113, is, William 74. Is finally, William is finally warmed up. Yeah. <laughs> Look at William. He it only took him four days. <laughs> he wasn't in the runnings at that 75. No. William just said, you know what, David, no. I see you. I want to be on the podium with you. Do you know, I am going to go. Do you know what it was? You know what I think gave him that warm up? What? I think it was his um, 50 freestyle. <laughs> Not the, Wait, not, no, the 800, not the 800 at the beginning. Is that the only race he's done today? I believe yeah, so. Okay, okay, his 800 at the beginning. There it is, okay. there it is. I mean, he did get second, and that was a fantastic swim for him. Was. And to was. come back and get third in this 100 breast, after he got third in that 200 breast. Take a look at this lineup. We just saw Renishka Gibbs come second. And she was a lot faster than the 53. She was a lot faster than she was this morning. Yes. And considering she's second now going into this 100 breast, she is going to try and annihilate Ellie Shaw in that first 50. Ellie Shaw was out in 34. And Renishka Gibbs was about 0 0.202 slower than Jillian Crooks in yeah. that 50 freestyle. Yep. And I think that was all the start. Yeah. Had yeah. Renishka gotten off the blocks better. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Gibbs knows that she has to go out fast to get ahead of Ellie Shaw. If she does not, Ellie Shaw can bring the heat and catch her to win for this 100 breaststroke. We have Tyla. We spoke to her two days Ooh. ago. There she is Ooh. in third position. She did Get not it. medal last okay. year. She is, that's a... Turned at 33.49. Ellie Shaw with just a little bit ahead there of Radishka. There it is. Ooh. Ellie Shaw, 200 breaststroke. Gibbs, 50 and 100 for that freestyle. There it is. We have Gibbs now pulling away from Shaw. Shaw is still in control. It's still anybody's race. There's Renishka is getting a little bit ahead. Tyla is now fighting for third position between Katie and Bahamas. It's going to come end. down to the finish. It is going to come down to the finish. Look at Ellie Shaw extend. Oh. I love that stroke. This oh. morning, Shaw gave shorten up, and Ellie extended. It's going to be Ellie Shaw for the win. 112.80. Fantastic swim for her. Coming in, it is Gibbs with a 113.30 and getting her hand on the wall. It is Trinidad Tyler with a 116.45. I definitely said if Gibbs gets out ahead of Ellie, it's going to be really hard for Ellie to catch her on the way back. Gibbs did not get that far ahead in that first 50. And we knew that Ellie had that back end speed. Beautiful race for them. Woo! See in the recap, Gibbs is shortening up just a little bit, and Ellie's extension with her kick and her glide is beautiful to end this hundred breaststroke with a one twelve. Yes. Oi. All right, we're moving. <laughs> we don't have time to process all these events because we are moving. Can they, have... can they slow it down a little? No, actually, no, I take it back. Stop it. Don't do that. Caden Wells, Dirks, Daly, one, two, three. We have Joshua Ross, Yavin Cox, lane one and two. Jordan in lane six, Tristan lane seven, and Inzi in lane eight. Bermuda has two athletes in this event. Amazing. Amazing. There it is. We saw Elijah Daly have a fantastic swim yesterday. Three events. He really came back in that 200 butterfly to tie for that gold medal win. Fantastic race for him. We're going to see him trying to stay with Dirks. But if you saw Dirks prelim swim this morning, he was out. Woo, so fast. Look at this. Look. look. There Take is a Hepburn. Take a look. There is Hepburn. Lane seven, Bahamas, is going with Dirks. He's going to turn with a 30.06. 
great turns, like all of them. Amazing Pepper, turns. Pepper, the J7, is now in the mix. Here comes Bailey. He's trying to get in that mix for that one, two, three. Jordan, right beside them from Cayman Islands. He wants to catch up. He sees Bailey right beside him with a beautiful extension. He's going to try and move ahead of him. Woo! Dirk needs to move. Right now, it is Dirks holding strong. Hepburn is... He is not far. Really strong. Look at Caden Wells from the Bahamas in lane three. Wow. It's going to be down to the top. Oh! Bahamas, second and third. Wow. All Aruba for Dirks. Dirk. Why are you standing on your I, tippy toes? I, I am feeling it. My toes to the top of my body right now. 104, 5, 9. Wow. From Aruba to take the win. Out in a 30, back in a 33. That is a fantastic swim, Dirks. That's how you want to do it. At least three second difference. So if Kai, if you're watching this, you're going to be in this event coming up very soon. Next year is nothing. Three seconds. That's where you want from that first 50 to that last 50. Annika Two to three Ampe. seconds would be beautiful. And number five, Bahamas Jamaica, second third. Sabrina Lynn. Oh my Woo. God. They caught Daly right, right at that flag. Can somebody explain to me Black, the seven, link between the 50 first, freestyle and the, and the 100 breaststroke? Because I'm not understanding it. Not even that. We had Sabrina Lynn win that 50 fly <laughs> as well. 50 fly, 50 free. 100 free, 100 fly, and she's back in this 100 breaststroke. Because I tell you what, Ariana Vanderpool Wallace cannot swim breaststroke to save her life. <laughs> I'd be better off swimming butterfly. This <laughs> 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 is dive bomb by a mom. <laughs> 18 and over. Woman, 100 breaststroke. We're gonna see Lynn trying to go out a little bit faster than she did this morning. She definitely wants to go 109. Right now, from Jamaica, we have Kai that just did 109. As a female from Jamaica, I would love to beat all the boys. Yes. And I did that, yep. and I am very proud for yep. that. Here comes Sabrina Lynn. Under 110 is the goal for her. Out in a 33 wow. she needs to come back in a 37 low if she wants, nope, 36, if she wants to get under that 110. She's gonna have to move. There is that race for second. I don't even know what a good breaststroke time is anymore. <laughs> well, the Olympic B cut is a 107. Oh. Two. A cut is a 109, sorry, 106.9. So, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. Going in, it is Sabrina Lynn. Her tempo has slowed down just a bit, but I love it because she is elongating. Unlike Gibbs in the previous heat, when she fatigued, she got short. As you can see, when you get tired, you have to elongate. Woo! Coming in, it is Sabrina Lynn with a 113.03. Thompson from Bahamas to get the second with a 115.90. And coming in third from Aruba, it is Trump with a one. Oh, 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 it has been updated. It is Aruba with a 150.66. Coming in second. Well, I'm going to I'm going to wait to give you these times until the scoreboard has fixed itself. by Abby Trump of Aruba at a 115.66. All right, it looks official. So it is Sabrina Lynn to take the win. Trump from Aruba for that second position out touching Thompson from Bahamas for third. And that is Joseph. And here we have the 18 and over 100 meter breaststroke. In lane six, we spoke to Zachary Gresham just a while ago about all the stuff that Grenada has been doing so far to get themselves physically ready and mentally ready for Carifta a year later. And that has proven tenfold. I am so excited for what is happening. There seems to be in injury right now. Uh oh. We're gonna wait just for a second. She needed help out of the water. That is lane four. Ottawa from Grenada. We spoke already about all the work that Grenada has been doing. It has shown. But at one point there is so much stress you can put on the body. And it is day four. We spoke already about these athletes. Well and I was gonna say that too about these yes like the 11 12s they rebound really fast. Really fast. The older you get, the more difficult it is to get back and rebound. It's... 
It is unbelievable the amount of events they have swam here at these championships. However, it is day four. If you do not take care of your body, and I'm not saying this is the situation with her, but if generally with the sun, with the cold and the hot, it's just, it's, it is a beast. It's you, a beast. I mean, it's a marathon. It's not one yep. day. It's not yeah. one session. It's eight for four days. And you see the effects on the latter part of the days. I can't tell you how many times I'm in bed and my legs start cramping because of dehydration yep. Yep. and I'm not swimming. Yep. I can't imagine how much work these team managers have to do to force these athletes to warm down, to hydrate, to eat on time and get to bed so they can finish off these cars, the games, very strong with a great performance. And I think it's very easy to forget and you feel like you're hydrating, you feel like you're drinking a lot. Yeah. But in truth, you probably aren't. More than likely you're not. We have one more event to go before the medal ceremony for these events, but we're going to continue. It is the last event of the 100 breaststrokes. This will be the men, 18 and over 100 breaststrokes. We saw all these guys earlier today swim a beautiful 100 breaststroke. Beautiful time. This is the last one we're going to see. I, I love to compare notes between 15, 17, and 18 and over, and 13, 14. And in the case of Joseph, 12, 11, 12. But coming in, we're going to have some fantastic swims here. I'm, I'm now drinking my water because I'm dehydrated. We can't be hypocritical now, can we? No. It is lane six, Zachary, lane five, Thompson, lane four, Gatson, lane three, Joseph. Lane seven, decided not to swim. He was exhibition, but here it is. Beautiful swim for lane five. Look at that extension. That's the power stroke. That right is 30.02 for Thompson from Bahamas. Wow, look at the pull-up by yeah, lane four. Yeah. So Gadsden had a really great second 50 this morning, and you're going to see why it was so great. Look at that force. This is what I mean when you I have I like watching body. him throw. That is the relationship between a head throw and your hips right there. His head is throwing his shoulders. His shoulders are throwing his hips forward. Every part of his being is moving forward. And that's what I say about the head throw. The wall. Look at that. Beautiful extension for him. He's got a touch with a 114, sorry, 104, 17. Like a 114 where? <laughs> a 114, 17 for Gadsden. Coming in second, also from Bahamas, it is Thompson with a 106. And third, it is Gresham. Gresham. Grenada has gotten another medal here at these championships in the 100 breaststroke. It is Zachary Gresham with a 108.37. And I'm, I'll be interested to see his splits because Thompson went out fast with a 30. Yeah. But if Joseph went 31, he ended up doing 10, 104. So he came back in a 32 high, 33. Beautiful spin for him. We saw him dominate in that 200 breaststroke as well. So to come back and have that nice middle for that 100 is wonderful. So we are gonna pause to do awards for the 100 breaststroke. And in our transition into that, we have another guest that makes me feel like <laughs> I don't do anything with my life. Oh my gosh. We spoke already about her phenomenal swim so far. We saw her in that 100 free and 50 free. We said numerous times how difficult it is to balance that academic life, that work life, and that swimming life. And here we have, she, <laughs> she is in her medical school. Like, I don't, I'm not even gonna say it, you tell them. We're here with Sherelle Thompson from Trinidad. Good evening, ladies. Hi. Hello, Hi. thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> thank you for making me feel like I'm worthless. <laughs> of course not. I am among royalty. Oh you guys my gosh. have been, um, 
legacy leaders mm. for, for the Curifta yep. region. So it really is a pleasure for me to be here among you all. Oh my gosh, Chantel, if you're watching this, take a picture. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wanted to ask some questions. I know it's difficult <laughs> to continue swimming into your late 20s, but you're now 31. Yes. What? <laughs> How did you start? Like, Where did I start? Like start? Like re restart. Restart, oh. restart, yes. Yeah. Because um, you did stop at I age. Did. I retired oh. in 20. 16. Okay. Uh, following disappointment with the 2016 Olympics. Yeah. And then um, I found my way back to the sport. I tried playing um, volleyball. My sister does volleyball. I tried that sport. I did some football. And Trinidad was hosting Sissy Khan Games, I believe it was in 2018. Or I be, yeah, I believe it was 2018. Yeah. And I decided I want to swim because we're, we're, we're hosting, so why not? Why I got not? to the pool for a month. And I feel like you're going to get me in trouble here. Ariana, you're hosting. <laughs> <laughs> it rekindled the passion that I have for this sport. I always tell athletes, yes, it's great to retire. It's great to know when. However, if you're retiring because you're upset at your performance, it leaves such a, 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 a weird feeling in your heart. You, yeah. I'm so happy that you found your way back to the sport. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we don't have time to go into the details of that experience, but it was not, it wasn't performance. Um, there were lots of external circumstances uh, that were okay. really, um, really frustrating to, yeah. to deal with uh, surrounding those games. Yeah. And um, it, it, but I did have a mentor, um, another athlete from Trinidad, uh, Andrew Lewis, who was mm. a sailor. And we had a conversation, and he helped me to have a shift in perspective about okay. the experience. And so I was able to take ownership of the things that I, I was able to, and came away from um, our time together with, like I said, a new perspective to yeah. be able to decide for myself that I'm going to go back into the sport and, and the aware of the challenges that I'm going to face, but I'm just going to. Um, continue to, to be resilient and find ways around it. And let me tell you, those challenges have not gone away. <laughs> I'm here at 31 years old. Um, I'm here doing, doing um, as best as I can to, mm. to continue for this, um, for this Paris. Yeah. yeah. And what did you have to put on hold to continue your, your path towards Yeah, Olympics? yeah. I have always dreamed also of being a, a medical doctor and I had to pause, actually I postponed med, med school because of the pandemic, wanting to go to Tokyo mm -hmm. in 2020. And then it was deferred to 2021. So I had two years deferral. We're gonna pause one second. And congratulations, 11 and 12 ladies, the Naya Menace, the bronze, Isabella Cucurillo, yes. the silver. Yes, so let us know a little bit about Jamaica after it was deferred award. again. Yes, deferred because of the pandemic. Yeah. Um, and so I got started in 2020, knowing that uh, that there was a lot of uncertainty, mm. even though they postponed the games, that there was no telling that the games we're gonna go on because of um, just this being the first time that the world yeah. is dealing with. Yeah. Um, so I went ahead with it, and I was doing school, med school online, and training for for Tokyo. So that happened. Med school online and for Tokyo. Yeah. Then my third year came around, and I we started in person. So I took a pause from swimming for about four or five months. Yeah. And then I got I have now paused med school. I've completed my third year and have put it on pause to, um, to get my all for this, for this last, um, for last, this last leg of towards Paris. I have one more question for you because you've answered it beautifully before. <sighs> Trinidad is doing fantastic. Yeah. They've had numerous races. There have been numerous medalists. Yeah. How does it feel to come back to Carifta? We never thought we'd be swimming again in Carifta, right? but now with the 18 and over category, yes. it's possible. Yeah. What's it like to come back? To have the opportunity, I jumped at it. Yeah. I was like, this is going to be so much fun. I embraced the opportunity to be here with the younger athletes and to experience the Carifta games with them. And for me, it's been nostalgic. 
being back here and just seeing the excitement, the, the huge team, because, you know, when we travel to the bigger competition and the championships and stuff, yeah. the numbers Few. get smaller and Few. smaller. Yeah. Two if you're lucky. Yeah. Right? And again, congratulations to one of the top gentlemen, Keanu Deshaun, the bronze. So yeah, how has it been? How, how has it been? So you're, you're now with 11, 12 year olds on the team. Yep, and um, it's been reminding me of what it was like when I was at my first character. Mm -hmm. I, I believe it was Barbados that I went to my first character. But these athletes have been this has been a growth experience for them because yes. I've been able to see some tears shed, some smiles, some laughs, some Aww. friendships made. Um, and then now we're at the final night where the fun, yeah. uh, a new type of fun begins. People are trading caps and yeah. t-shirts and exchanging contacts. And, yeah. Unlike us, it was like, what, Skype and Messenger? Yeah. Right? Your email? Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's so wild, like, how technology has changed. Yeah. Oh, my God. I didn't feel that old until net right that now. Right? Not even phone numbers. It's not going to get your handle on social media. Like, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So that is beautiful. I told, um, we have uh, Aria Wheat. She's, yep. she's chaperone for the Bahamian team. And as I was passing to get my medal tonight, I said, hey, I want to tear the t-shirt. I'm going to do the oh. thing, the the thing. <laughs> so I came with some extra t-shirts in my bag. And uh, with some of the friends I've made, I'm wanting to I love that. some t-shirts tonight. So, yeah, so embracing the full experience of Chris. I, I love it. Yeah. I love it. I will be cheering you on going into Paris. I will not be joining you. <laughs> not this time? No, not ever. <laughs> We want to thank you very much for being with us and sharing your journey. It's not just about the swimming. It's not just about the work that you put in and the tears that were shed yeah. about the community yep. and the challenges exactly. and the obstacles and rising above them. And you're 31 and still doing it. Yep. So when I hear 11, 12 year olds, 13, 14, be like, oh my gosh, this is it. No, no there's, there's so, so much, much more. more. Yeah. So much more. Yeah. I've had some opportunities to, to have some one-on-one uh, -on -one conversations with, with these younger athletes while here. So that has been really special to pass on those nuggets to them as well. That you yeah. and Dylan have both been yeah. fantastic for the Trinidadian team. Yeah. And to be here in person, they right. can reach you, they can touch you, they yeah. can ask questions. It's phenomenal for their self-esteem and their confidence moving forward. Definitely. Thank you so much. I keep up doing the great work. Thank you. Finding your light. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for both. joining us. Thank you both for having me. It has been Cheryl pleasure. Thompson. You saw her in that 103 and that 53. We will see her later on, hopefully, at Paris 2024. Yay. Moving forward. <laughs> Thank right. you so much for being with Thank us. You. On the medal podium, we are going to see Bahamas second, third. But in that top spot, it is Kai Radcliffe coming in with a great time under that 110 barrier. Beautiful stroke for him. Beautiful race altogether. And it has been a fantastic competition so far. I am so glad that the camera wasn't on my face when our next guest walked up the stairs. I, I, I want to know if you guys can guess. I'll, I'm, give you, I'll give you two seconds. I'm pretty sure I just fangirled. <laughs> she was fangirling when she saw you. We. we are, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna start slow. He is from Barbados. He has swam the 50 fly. The 100 fly, the 200 Ladies fly. Ladies and gentlemen, the national fly. anthem of Jamaica. We're going to tell you who it is after this. We have Goggleless slash Goggle Ashby. So, so tell us. Good evening. Good I, evening. I think that you 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 wore goggles this morning. I did. And then you went back to Goggleless. I did go back to Goggleless. What? What what's been going on there? So the first two days I went completely goggleless. It's just my personal habit. I feel like I'm going faster without goggles. And 
bonus benefit of not like if they get filled with water or they just come off, they don't slow you down. It's true. <laughs> You're right. So that's like a bonus benefit. But during the 200 flight in the morning session of yesterday, day three, my eyes were burning so badly. And they, I don't know if it's a different chemical or something in this water, but my eyes don't handle it as well. So I had to do put you, them on. Do you train with goggles on? I do train with goggles on. What, what if they come off? In the training? Yeah. It doesn't matter if they come off in the training, just put them back on. So you don't want to, to work those eyes to be like, I can my eyes, withstand all types of things. My eyes are invincible. They, <laughs> they burn. They just don't burn in a short oh period. Gosh. So if it's 200 or less, I'll usually not wear goggles. Good to know. But, okay. Cool. So, so the 50, you went goggleless. Yes. Yeah. 50, I did go goggleless. Yeah. Okay. Uh, have next you been question. Hearing? I'm sorry. Go. Go. I want to know if you heard that he's been being called goggleless. Actually. Did you know? I did know. <laughs> I'm a good job. Love it. I just, I don't think, I am much older than you. I don't think that I've seen somebody go goggleless in my career. In my career, also from Barbados. So I kind of have to question, is it just a Bayesian thing? I knew Bayesian some people thing. who went without goggles all the way up to college. It's just a me thing. Sometimes my clubmates do it just because, why not? <laughs> but why not? Me, I do it all the time. Unless if it's 400 or yeah. up. But. So I have I have two questions. The first one, why are your ears out of your cap? <laughs> <laughs> do you not like your ears being under your cap? I do not. <laughs> it feels weird. Okay, other question. Ali and I had the pleasure Loved it. of watching Loved it. you and Martin Ford. Terrence sent us the link. A 50 freestyle. You just challenged an Olympian like that? I did. Be like, you, I want to race but you. He did swim in 12 years. <laughs> so I was pretty confident. That was, you were pretty confident. I mean, it, yeah. I might as well. I mean, if he was fast, I would still probably challenge him. Oh, oh. If he was fast? Martin Ford, if you start training. You heard that. You he heard said he would rematch that. me. I love it. He rematch. Said he would, I would love a rematch. I need to watch a rematch. I need to watch Ladies We need to figure out how to get that broadcast. The national anthem of Aruba. <laughs> Not us fangirl sorry. over you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. How has this experience been so far for Team Barbados and for yourself? For Team Barbados, uh, excited to have brought home a gold, a gold. And, you know, a side bond, not too bad. Yeah. Uh, it's been a pretty good career though. It's been stressful. So, mm. at least this is the last day. Yeah. So yeah. the stress is gone. You have the 50 coming up, the relay, right? 50 relay. Yes. How are you excited to finish off the night strong? finally get to rest and sleep in. I just hope my teammates perform well. Yeah. And I'm leading first leg. Ooh. Goggle-less. Might be goggle-less. That's right. That's right. Oh, we are so excited to watch you again. One more race to finish off your fantastic schedule so far. Ariana, do you have anything else to say? He is the legend we've been talking about. Goggle-less Ashby. Days. We've got him finally. <laughs> he is shivering. Dude, where's your jacket? Where's your jacket? Oh, I'm not cold. It's just that nerves. This is so surreal. Oh, nerves are being with us? Like... For the 15. Like, I'm on, like, live. Oh. This is so crazy. <laughs> if we can get a shot of him so he can get his picture, <laughs> that would be great. We're going to stay here until you get your shot. All right. There you go. Parents, if you're watching, anybody, if you're watching, this is your time to see him on. Here, we can take... We'll take a picture we, we for social media. We can also take a social media picture. <laughs> what? What was that noise? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Did I take it? Did I take it? That <laughs> sound. <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. <laughs> it's like a little girl squeeze. I think I got too happy. That was Ashby. It was not us. 
Guys, it's late and we didn't know that Gogglelos Ashley was a comedian as well. Oh my god. I... That picture one more time. Okay. Please. <laughs> After this Ashley answer. <laughs> Okay. Okay, here we go. One more, one more picture. One more picture. I won't make a noise this thing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice. Love it. Wow. Thank you, Gogolus Ashby. Oh, well. We finally get a chance to talk to you, to see you, to learn more about you, and we are so excited to watch you lead off that relay tonight. Best of luck. And tell your Thank group you. chat you only got a nickname because you're cool. Oh, so. for sure. It was much respect. Much respect. So. Take that, group chat. <laughs> Take that, group chat. <laughs> <laughs> we have been listening to Victor Ashby from Barbados. You'll see him again. He's found the 50 fly, the 100 fly, 200 fly, 53, 50 back. And you'll see him again later in that 4x50 relay leading off. Thank you so much for the laughs. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck. Wrapping up the medal ceremony here for the... 18 and over, 100 breaststroke, before we take ourselves into the 200 backstroke in just a bit. And we are here, beautiful swim for these guys. We have seen them dominate over the last couple of days, and we spoke already how important it is to make sure that you're recovering. It is a lot easier when you're 11, 12, but these guys are 15 and over. And again, they are 18 and over Bahamas for that first second. There is Zachary Gresham. He, we just spoke to him earlier today, and he was excited for that 50 breast and 100 breast. Here he is getting third, another medal for Grenada. I cannot stress enough how beautiful of a story it is. Last year, they wanted more. They decided to come together as a team, dig down, learn from their weaknesses, and get so much better that they have finalists in almost every event and so many medalists. It has been a fantastic four days and we have the 200 backstroke left. The ladies, the 11 and 12, taking ownership of the starting blocks at block number one, Trinidad and Tobago, Zara Brasico. So we have the 200 backstroke getting ready behind the blocks here. Oh my word. I mean, I, we've, we've already seen a lot of these names tonight. We're going to see them again here in the 200 backstroke. Right now. Alyssa Ferguson is the top seed. This morning, it looked so easy for her. Just such easy speed in that 200 backstroke. Now that they're all combined, I'm really curious to see, will everybody stay with Alyssa or will she be in a race of her own? You know, you know what's really great? There is something about you that gets so excited for the last event of the competition. You have like the second surge, or maybe fifth surge of energy. <laughs> At this point. <laughs> there it is, 0.65, Alyssa Ferguson taking out that early lead. Nice throw for her, she looks very controlled in lane. One, it is Zara. We saw her numerous times already today. She is going out strong. Look at that. She did have a really strong 200 backstroke this morning. We saw Alia really try and catch in that second 100. It looks like she's going to do the same strategy. Nice said that. 
look at that backstroke. I mean, it's almost like synchronized swimming here in lanes three, four, and six. Beautiful. It is time for Alia to turn on the jets if she wants to get into medal contention. Allison Ferguson is moving out in that front spot. It is Trinidad Taylor Martin that's going to turn first. Beautiful for her. Allison Ferguson is trying to catch up, trying to turn at that hunter split. We're going to see it is Alice, Alyssa, I keep up. Alyssa with a 116.53, Taylor 116.99, and Skylar Smith. Woo, for that one, two, three. Oh, yeah, I feel like I'm going to need to borrow your reading glasses. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, hi, how <hello>. about? <laughs> wow, okay. At Ferguson. She is extending away from the rest of the pack, and right beside her, it is teammate Skylar Smith starting to make a move. But lane six, Taylor is right there with her. Unless these guys, unless these girls go extremely fast, Alia from Barbados in lane five is not going to have the back pass she had this morning. No. But we're going to focus on Alyssa Ferguson controlling this swim from the first 50. Taylor has now moved into second position. She is accelerating into the wall. Is it enough to catch Ferguson? We're going to find out. But Skylar Smith in lane three holding strong for that third position. Meet record is a 2.29. So, wow, she's going to be pretty close to that. That would have been right now. So she's five meters close. But she's going to be Alyssa Ferguson coming with a 2.34.51. So, wow, 11, 12, 200 backstroke. Taylor Martin holds on for that second position from Trinidad with that 2.36. And third, it is Skylar Smith with a 2.37.98. What a swim by Alyssa Ferguson. I mean, I did, I did think that she was going to take it from the beginning and carry it all the way down. She did. Oh. That was fantastic. She was being challenged by Taylor in that second 50, but she decided at that 100 split, Taylor is too close. I don't like this. I'm going to extend my lead at that third 50 and really just push it. Fantastic swim, ladies. Bless you. I paused, I paused for a second because I was like, why is Alia standing up? And then I realized yes, what was up next. It is time for Sober's gold medal swim. She's calling it. We have yeah, seen him here here second in the 50, second in the 100, second in that 400 when he dominated. But a rush from Jamaica out touched him right at the end. He is faster than the rest of the field. It really is up to him to swim a smart race tonight. And that is very difficult with all the emotions that must be going on right now behind the block. You heard it here first. I did, I did say, I hope that that Sobers understands how to control that yes. feeling yes. and that emotion. Yes, 100%. Because this is a 200. Beside him, Rory Shepard had such a great swim this morning. We're going to see him try and go with him to get onto that medal stand. But let's not put out Simmons. He was second, first in that 50, first in that 100 back. We saw him already today in that 53 with a fantastic back half. It really is anybody's race. Oh my gosh, y'all. one, we have Ethan with oh a beautiful gosh. breaststroke. Oh my gosh. Like a couple minutes ago. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Look at that dive from Simmons in lane six. His entire body was out of the water on that start. What an amazing start by lane six here. Oh, Simmons. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Come on, Victor. I mean, not Victor. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still fangirling. The Bayesian teammates. Sobers. Sobers. Martinique has done a fantastic, fantastic appearance here at these championships. And they are trying to stay with them in lane five. But and Sobers to... turns first. Woo! 35-48. Rory Shepard is going with them. And in lane six, it is Simmons. Simmons had the 50, Simmons had the 100. He was slower this morning, coming back a lot slower than the rest of the field. But it looks Let like- Let Sobers go. He doesn't even want it to be a race. He does not even want it to be a race. 
If he turns together and sees Simmons, he has to put in all the stops to get away from him in this next 100. Rory has moved into that third position, now fighting for that third spot, but it is Sobers, 113.5 seater for that top spot. This morning, Sobers turned at 115.11 for the top seed. Two seconds, and we see Sobers is holding on for that top spot. Simmons is coming on strong. He is picking up his tempo just a little bit, but here we see the bounce that we saw this morning. We know, we know. The bounce is now like a survival stroke. We right? know his tempo, that Sobers is angry. We saw his 400 free. He got out touched. He by came. point something. His, his Sobers his, race. Okay, Sobers. Up into the turn. Let's go. So, he was no. 155 at the 150 this no, morning. No, no, Sobers needs to move. But Simmons is coming on strong. Come on, Sobers. Come on. Simmons won the 50. He won the 100. Can he do it again in the 200? We had Sobers. He has gotten numerous silvers. This could be his chance. Come on, come on, we Sobers. We have a 25 Come on, Sobers. He needs to dig deep. If come, on, Sobers. come on, Sobers. Come on, Sobers. Come on, Sobers. Come on. This could be his golden come race. On. Come on, come Michael on. Michael Sobers come on. finally get his gold. Yes. 229.95. For Sobers from Barbados. He did it. He did it, ladies and gentlemen. We knew it. We oh knew it. Oh my gosh. Beautiful swim for Sobers. Coming in second, Simmons went slower this morning and he brought it home tonight to get his second. He was so close to catching <sighs> Sobers. I tell you what, I my am. Heart. I am a, I ride hard for the 242. Woo! But I just shared my butt off for Sobers to win that event. We have seen the disappointment in his face. He has done fantastic. He did not make finals in the 50 last year. He was not where he needed to be as an 11 year old, 12 year old, a year later. He is dominant, second in that 50, second in that 100, second in that 400. Sobers from Barbados has gotten his gold medal swim on the last day of the competition, his last swim before the relay. Oh, my heart. Davina Barton at block number seven, Antigua Barbuda. And this has been such a fantastic the Bahamas. swim. We just had <sighs> alert, alert, warning, alert. <laughs> we just Stop had a by. picture <laughs> with the phenomenon that is Kia Alert from Jamaica in that 11-12 category. <sighs> Alia. And ladies and Sobers, if you're listening. The mental strength that you have to have to endure. You ha you sound fantastic already, but to come back again and say no. You saw Simmons coming right beside him. He wanted another gold in this backstroke event, and you dug down deep in that last five meters to get your gold. Fantastic swim. What a swim. <gasps> okay. <laughs> this is the girls' 13-40, 200 backstroke. Wow, we have Riley Watson. We saw her numerous times already yesterday. This is the double for her today after that 403. She is back in that 200 backstroke from Cayman. Lane five, we have Simmons. She was in that 200 feet, 200 five. She was in that 200 IM, 400 IM. She just saw her Bayesian teammate Sobers win that two backstroke. They won it again. I don't think we've seen, please correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure somebody will. Curacao on the podium. There, oh. No, I think we have. We definitely have. Lane, ooh. If not, it hasn't been that many. But I believe this could be a great possibility for her because Lane 6, Curacao, Gaber, she's in a great position to get that medal for Curacao here in this competition. And she's only 13, so. Ooh. That is beautiful. Look at Riley Watson extend her lead over Simmons. She's going to turn really fast at that 112. Woo! Beautiful.
to push for Simmons what? coming in at second position. It is Pierce out, holding strong for third, but she is being challenged by Antigua Davina in lane seven. Wow. Lane two. The is battle is strong. on for Barbados, third place. Barbados in lane two. It is Caitlin. Barbados could get second and third. It all depends on this last 75 meters. Riley Watson, what can she do? Look at her go. Look at her go. And this is why she could do that 2IM. The fly was a bit slow, but coming in that back first three just got faster and faster and faster. And she was able to get a middle in that 200 IM. Woo! Lane seven, Davina is very close to Gaber in lane six. This is a Look fight at the jet. Or third. Look at the jet. I think Curacao might pull it out. Woo! Antigua versus Curacao for that third position. Is it enough? They're trying to catch Simmons from Barbados. That's now in second. They're going to do it. They're going to catch Simmons for the second and third. Can Simmons hold it? <gasps> oh, my gosh, Simmons. Looking in front, it is Watson for that lead. That's a beautiful swim. 229.57 for Cayman Islands. Beautiful swim. Riley Watson holding on for it all by a little bit. And it is Simmons. Wow. Simmons out for was, third. Simmons was fading. Simmons was fading fast, but she held on for that second position. Look at the difference. We have Simmons from Barbados, 237.18. Curacao, 238.32. Antigua, that was coming on strong, 239.83. I am having both the time of my life and near a struggle bus death. Time. A struggle bus, but I'm having so much fun in this struggle bus. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Baptiste, Ocean, Faye, Alejandro, help me. No one. <laughs> help me, Maxwell, Tariq. It has been a fantastic race so far. We are on the boys, 13, 14, 200. Backstroke. Woo! Baptiste had a fantastic race this morning. Watch his backstroke. It is calm and collected right in front. However, we all know and we've all seen Ocean from Aruba have a phenomenal second 100. Can Baptiste stay out in front and swim his own race and bring it home for Virgin Islands? Oi, babe. <laughs> In lane three, it is Tariq from Barbados. He may want to get in on the mix as well. He saw his teammate come second, and before that first four sobers, it could be. But there is Cayman Islands left in lane six, and it's still anybody's, anybody's medal. Nice. I feel like these 200s are going to be the death of me. <laughs> from the 800 yesterday, <laughs> and then these two backs. <laughs> And then the 200 relays. Oh my gosh. Look, Ocean is not playing around. Ocean is not playing around. Um, does no. he know that this is a 200? No. This morning, his 100 was relaxed. Remember, he didn't do any underwaters and he just pushed off. What is he doing? Look at him attack. What is he this doing? first 25. I, woo, that is That's a different stroke. 30.31 for Arubian Ocean Van Lu. Coming in second, it is outside smoke from lane seven, Alejandro from Trinidad. If Baptiste wants to get back into the mix, he has to start moving because right beside him, it is Tariq from Barbados holding strong right beside him. I am obsessed with Ocean backstroke. Look at him, look at him. We saw him, he was cruising this morning. It was a nice relaxed stroke. And now we see that he is putting Putting it to the metal, he's gonna turn at a 105-16. No underwater. Oh my gosh, there look is. at that tempo. <laughs> Alejandro from Trinidad is holding on for that second position. Baptiste from Virgin Islands holding on for third. He is being challenged by Tariq from Barbados. It's gonna be close for that third and fourth. Oh, oh, for that second, third and fourth. It is Ocean holding on strong in that top position. Baptiste is now moving slightly. Ocean looks like he's getting a little tired here. Look at him. We're going to see if he has that sprint in that back end. It ain't over till it's over. Woo. Look at Barbados. Yeah. Barbados it, isn't out of it. It is out to this last 50 to decide second, third, and fourth. But in front, it is Arubian Ocean Van Loon. Wow. Elliot, Barbados. 
Barbados and Greenwich is swimming all of her body. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And right on that lay line, you can see Alejandro in lane seven from Trinidad start to accelerate. Here comes Baptiste right beside him. Can Tariq catch Baptiste? They're right beside each other. Bapti Tariq is putting on the stops. Baptiste is starting to fatigue. It's down to the touch. It will be Ocean with a 216-13 for the win. Coming in second, it is Alejandro with a 220 one three coming in third. It will be Baptiste from Virgin Islands, 221, one five. He is 0.8 ahead of Tariq from Barbados with a 221.92. Tariq, if he didn't try to do that all upper body, would be a beast. It was a great swim. If he wasn't on that lane line so much, maybe we could have seen a difference in that last 25. Maybe he would have been closer to Baptiste out touching at the end. Because right here, he's right on that lane line, and Baptiste is a little bit further in. But it was very close for that third and fourth position. Congratulations to Arubian Ocean for that top spot. Trinidad Alejandro for second, and Baptiste getting his hand on the wall for third. Are we ready for this? Isn't that a song? Oh, you're ready. Sorry. Sorry. I apologize. Up next, the girls, 15 and over, 200 back. Y'all ready for this? Don't. <laughs> that's the song. That's, that's what I said? No. That's not how mine went? No. Oh, snap. You said, anyway. <laughs> it's recorded. We don't need to repeat. The wheels have fallen off, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> On the struggle bus. Okay. Oh man, we saw Ferguson this morning dominate yep. this event. Yep. I'll be excited to see what Broadbelt brings to this race to see if she's gonna go out with her or try to come back strong. But we know that Ferguson won that hundred back show. She's trying to go she's gonna go out fast. She got that record this morning. She definitely wants to try and do her best time tonight. I mean Zuri was nine seconds faster than Broadbelt. Nine seconds yes. in a 200. Yes, and we can see Broadbelt is going to go a little bit more conserved in that first 100. Unlike Ferguson, who is going all out. She is trying to set that tempo. Beautiful swim for her. Look at the lead on that first 50. She's gonna flip in a 31-7-2 for Ferguson. Second, third, and fourth <laughs> is still anybody's race. As we reach that 75 of the 200. Look at the domination Ferguson has in her throat. Wow, what a, I mean, look at her. She's accelerating into, it's a 200. This is how the professionals swim it. What are we doing here? Like, what is, what is? <laughs> she is gonna turn. Ooh, at a 106.19. Coming back in a 110, we're gonna see that 216. She did 219 this morning. I said already this morning, if she goes out in that 106, it will be great if she can come back in that 109. She is moving. Oh my God. She is moving. Oh my God. She said this morning, 211 is the Olympic foul cut. She is going to be Paulia. Look, look at that. Look, look at this. She's destroying everybody. Ooh, Broadbelt has moved into that second position. She is now right beside Riley Miller. Wow. And Ellen. 141.81. It is a race for second and third. The Olympic cut is 30 seconds from where she just turned. Yeah. Broadbelt has moved into second position. She is conserving and really working that second 100. It is a race for second, third, and fourth. Coming in, as we said, the Olympic trial cut, that 211, I'm gonna tell you where that is and how far. She was five meters away from it this morning. It's right, right there. there. So now she is four meters away and getting closer. It will be. Wow. Three Ferguson, 2604. She went out in a 106. She came back in that 109. Beautiful. And that is the three seconds that we spoke about. What makes a great 200. Coming in in lane five, it is God Belt getting her hands on the wall with a 228.85. And third from Bahamas, Ellie, with a 229.94. So, I 
just want to be clear, that swim by Zuri is absurd. That's a fantastic time. Zuri is only 16. That's a beautiful swim. And the dominance that she had from that first 50 to the end, phenomenal. She's going to break the record again that she broke this morning. Beautiful swim for her. Beautiful. The rest of her season is going to be fantastic. I am so excited to watch not only the rest of her summer, but the next four years of her career. Our teachers are going to be going after her so hard this year. She's going to have her pick of colleges, and it's going to be fantastic as that will help her progression even more. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Maynard, Lewison, Belfon, Destang, Carrington, Sellers, Gleason, and Johnson. All these guys are hungry. Destang and Carrington, Sellers, Gleason. We've seen them multiple times before. But let's not forget Gleason, Johnson, Maynard, and Lewis. They want their medal. This is the last chance before the relay. Let's just take a second to realize of the eight gents in this race, five of them have two more years. <laughs> I've said it numerous times. The Caribbean is looking great. The future of our sport in the Caribbean is fantastic. Five. Five have two more years. Two of them have one more year. Yep. Will Sellers is the only one that we won't see returning in the 50 and 17 category. Look at this. So this is Will Sellers in lane six from Cayman. This is his last chance, the medal, in this 200 backstroke before he ages out. Look at Carrington. Go. <laughs> What, what it, this morning we saw Carrington a little bit more reserved. Same thing with Ocean. This time they're gonna change it up and decide to go out. In lane two, Brady Lewison is trying to go out with him. I am thoroughly confused by the speed of these swimmers. Like the dominance, I love it. It's the dominance and it's the endurance. It's knowing that I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna hold it because I've practiced it. We've said it before. Practice does not make perfect. Perfect per practice you. make, no. Practice makes permanent. Thank you. Perfect practice makes perfect. perfect. Beautiful. We're gonna have Parrington turning with a very early lead. Woo! 101.47 for Liam Parrington from Trinidad and Tobago. Coming in second, it is Sellers. This is his chance. He's gonna try and hold on for that second position. And it is Darren from Trinidad for that third. Brady Lewis in lane two. He is wow. trying to make his move. Wow. 75 left in he's this gonna, 200. He's going to turn second here. Woo! And what's interesting is they can't see each other. So lane three and four can probably see the splash of each other. They think they're racing. Yep. Lane six and seven yep. you can see the splash of each other. They think they're racing. But here is lane two. We already said how hard it is to swim in that outside lane, but to do it in backstroke, when you can't really see left and right, he is swimming all on his own. He needs to move now if he wants that second position. Look at that underwater! Here comes William Sellers, lane six. He wants his medal in his last year of 15-17. Well, Liam Carrington just went 15 meters underwater on his last turn of a 200 backstroke. And that's why Liam Carrington is gonna win this 200 backstroke from Trinidad, 207, 71. Will has faded and it will allow Brady Lewison from Jamaica to get that second position out of lane two. And coming in third from Cayman Islands will be Will Sellers in his last 57 competition to get that bronze medal with a 214-91. Okay. Well done, gentlemen. Okay. Well done. Okay. What a swim. Okay. The, the confidence from Lewison in lane two. This is a 200. He has done 50s. It hasn't worked out for him at this competition. And he said, you know what? Maybe I'm not feeling that sprinty. Let's go after it in this 200. Lane two. That second 100, he looked and he said, you know what? I'm within reach of everybody else. I'm going to do it. And that 75, he moved into second position. Last 50, Will Sellers in lane six was coming on strong, but they couldn't see each other.
Brady took it that last oh. 12 and a half to secure a second. Lord and of mercy. Flooded into the wall from Cayman Islands to get third. Ooh. Liam Carrington, 15 years old from Trinidad, will take that top spot. What a swim. <gasps> what a swim. We are about to move into another round of special guests. This is another special one. We spoke about her numerous times. <laughs> I'm gonna let Ariana have the privilege because she is Bahamian. <laughs> Hi, how are you? You are the most petite human being I have ever seen right sitting next to me. Yes, <laughs> yes. But you swim like a giant. <laughs> Thank you. Tell our fans what you've done so far. Give us your name, a little bit of background, and let's get started. My name is Isabella Cucurulo, and I swim breaststroke, um, specifically 200 breaststroke. Oh, um, yeah. We saw you dominate, dominate these last four. And what was really fantastic is that even though you're fatigued at last 25, you pick up your tempo yeah. so fast. It is yeah. so inspiring to watch. Yeah. Are you training for that? Do, is that what you do in your training? Yeah, yeah. Mm. We, we train a lot of stamina and quick tempo. That is <laughs> phenomenal. I, I can't, I don't, I don't know that I can, so I don't know if you know this. I was a sprint freestyler. Yeah. I'm only 5'6". Yeah. All of the girls that I raced against were six feet. And we had a number of yes. Watching you swim. Yes. Yeah. I had talked to your coach earlier and she said, yep, she's so little, but she is mighty. Yeah. And I saw you, I didn't see you behind the blocks before. I saw you swimming and I was like, what is she talking about? She's little. <laughs> Yeah, most of the girls I race are really, really tall, and compared to me... So don't let anybody tell you. Not at yeah. all. Not Size at all. doesn't matter. Yeah. It's the heart. It is the heart, and it's what you use to your advantages, like that last 12 and a half. Mm -hmm. That is a beautiful swim. Yeah, we train last 10 meters, pick it up, so I can love get that. the race. You picked it up. Yeah. I sure. love that. Are you on the relay tonight? No. no. Okay. No, no, no. Were you on the team last year when you got that Bahamian win for the team? Oh, uh, this is my first year. This is your first year? Yeah. So what first year. What an amazing right? first career. Can you imagine? It's, it's really amazing. And I had a great time. Oh, my gosh. Coming in, you guys will potentially win this yeah. Carifta game. We'll How are you win. feeling? I'm really excited. Yeah. It's really an honor to be on the winning Carifta team. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I never got one of those, so that's, you're better off than I am. One up on Ariana <laughs> Vanderpool Wallace. Yeah. Look at you. So what was the best part about this meet for you? The 200 best for sure. That was my strongest race. You know, I have good stamina, so I hold 100 breaststrokes, stay with people, but on the last 100, I try and split away. And, and it yeah. worked. Yeah, it works. It worked. You realize you're sitting next to a breaststroke world record holder. For real? Oh, you didn't? <laughs> yes, I hold the world record in the 50 and 100 stroke course major. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hi. Nice. <laughs> I don't know anything about breaststroke, so I'm not going to be able to talk about that. <laughs> but Alia is the breaststroke yeah. queen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. Indeed. And as I say, you are, you're maturing very well as a breaststroke. So keep up the good work. So when she, when she's saying that your breaststroke looked good, I mean, she's it. impressed by I, it. I, I she. It, for thank sure. you. For sure. Thank keep you. up the great work, and we hope to see you next year. Yes. Thank you for stopping by and visiting us. Thank you. Save your voice, save your voice for the real. Yes. You're going to need it. We need it. <laughs> And that was Isabella. And again, congratulations. Her it's her first part of the game. She has done phenomenal in this breaststroke event. She is a little bit. A little bit. And she has more more in store for her. It has been a fantastic competition for her, and she is excited for Bahamas to win this championships. We have the relays left, so anything can happen. There you go. We have, oh man. <laughs> we are joined by another guest. It is the honor of the Isaac Rankin, Minister of Youth Sports and Heritage of the Cayman Islands. 
We were just talking about how dominant Bahamas have been at these competitions. Take a look at Cayman Islands. We were swimming when Cayman was really upcoming. We had a few stars, but the numbers really wasn't there. For them to come in and they're second with the relays coming in, how, how does that feel to see that all your work has been, has, has, it's been, for, it's, it's great. It, it, it gives me a great sense of accomplishment, per se. Mm. I mean, the whole island, really. Yeah. Um, in the sense that what we train in, our kids train is just a 25-meter pool. Mm -hmm. And you know that's different when you actually have to come and swim in a 50-meter pool. Oh, yeah. But hopefully, um, before the end of the year, Ooh. we will have our own 50-meter pool. <gasps> and you'll see some marked difference in the performance of the athletes when they do, do, do visit Kurft again. That would be lovely. So we are, I will get back to that in just a second. One second. And again, congratulations. That was Sobers, who we were so proud of for getting that medal, but when Ali and I have been watching the Cayman Islands swim, as she said, when we were coming up in Carifta, we had the Frasers, yes, we had right. Heather Rothy, yes. um, but it was just a few people. Watching the 11-12 swim with so much heart, yeah. what do you, where do you attribute that to? Coming out of just a 25-meter pool, they're coming in here so impressive. They, they, have, they have done well, because I've watched them in their, um, in their trials before they actually got the trip up, and I was very impressed. The, the younger ones, this is the first trip that they're competing, so it gives them some experience, so that when by the time we get to trip to 25, um, they will have had more experience, but also have more experience swimming in a 50-meter pool that will show, certainly aid them in, in making strides towards hopefully getting on the metal platform. Yeah. I mean, I, we, we see that they have the heart for it, so I can only imagine watching next year, yeah. we are going to see Cayman Islands. I know I'm, he's not, not here, but I'm going to talk about it. But <laughs> they're going to be close. He's not here, but we really do have to talk about Crooks and his fantastic gold medal at the championships. Jordan Crooks, possib <laughs> possibly after the, the Fraser brothers, who semi-final at Olympics, NCAA champions, we had a lull, and now there is Jordan Crooks coming back on the world seat, getting that world championship medal. How important is it for these athletes to see somebody at that stage dominating? For, for me, um, when when I heard the news that Jordan had won the the world championship, it was it was such a a surreal moment for us in Cayman because that was the first world championship that we've had. And the minister before me, that predated me, um, Bernie Bush, he said to us in our caucus that Cayman's first championship medal would be in swimming. Mm. And so said so then. So we were so elated. But you also see his sister, Julian Crook, yep. who is swimming. And she's doing a fantastic job Beautiful. here in the um, first class swimming yep. athletics. Yeah, we've seen many, many. Harper, we've seen Riley. <laughs> We've seen Broadbelt. You have such a fantastic set of girls that are coming up, and men as well with James Allison. It bodes well for the future of Cayman Islands, and we are so happy to see them here, powerful and representing at all levels in all uh, events. And I do want to say that, you know, we talk a lot about, like, what swimming does for the rest of your life, and seeing the Cayman Islands swimmers on the pool deck, walking around, they talk to everybody. Yeah. I think they embody what it means to be a full... Yes. Full athlete. Yes. They are talking to other people. They care about other people. They're investing their time and energy in other people. Ladies and I just have to say, I'm love. astounded by them. <laughs> testament to the federation and the team managers and coaches and it is to you as well as minister of youth sports and heritage of cayman islands you have seen the vision and it is coming to fruition so congratulations on everything you've done so far well i'm, I'm pleased to have have been given the district honor to represent the people of the cayman islands in this post the minister of youth sports and heritage yeah. but it also 
there was other groundwork that was laid before I got the whole position. So I'm yes. just carrying on the work that yes. people have started and I'm pleased to have been handed that mantle. But certainly for us in the Cayman Islands, we plan to invest a lot more time and effort into our sports because it, it gives the children and our, and our young people a different avenues, something that they can achieve, something that they can see the, the likes of, of Jordan Cooks, Julian Cooks, yeah. to, to, yeah. to work their way towards achieving some kind of milestone in their lives. But yeah. certainly, sports for me is the way that we will and take care of our young people. 100%. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us here and learning more about what Cayman is doing for the youth. It is my pleasure. One thing before I go, though, yes. I arrived um, last night and I came in this morning and what I saw, even if you're n not from Cayman, and for me, what you mentioned earlier was what we call Cayman kind, the friendliness. Mm. That's what we call Cayman kind. We had a tourism campaign that concentrated on that a few years ago, but I saw other athletes, and even if you're supporting your own country, you must, you, you had no other choice but to stand up and clap yeah. and saw the heart of those athletes yes. out there performing 100%. in the water. Because We've I said to someone earlier, um, if it was me, I would have been yeah. in 20 feet and moved being pulled out of <laughs> 20 feet. First time we already win the Caribbean, succeed. If it's one country, we all succeed. Yes. And I really wish to thank you for being here with us. We have one more guest before we get to that relays. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. for having me, and I appreciate that. Thank, thank you, so you, much. you for thank joining you so us. Much. Nice you. meeting you. you. We're going to be joined by the Honorable Zane Lightborn, Minister of State in the Ministry of the Environment and Natural Resources of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. We are so excited to have him come and just share a little bit more about the natural resources, what Bahamas has to offer, and the aquatic future of Bahamas. Oh, there it is. Thank you so much, the Honorable Zane Lightborn, for being here with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I feel so privileged to be amongst <laughs> greatness. How has it been so far? It has been electric the last couple of days. I oh, here on man. Woo! It's been exciting. Yes. Um, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of this country. I'm so proud of our children. Yeah of just the Caribbean ability to always come together in this type of atmosphere. Yeah. And to see our world-class events and, and our young people doing it for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. As, as Minister of State in the Ministry of the Environment and Natural Resources, how did you come into swimming? How did you come into aquatics? And what does this look like for the future of Bahamian aquatics? So I'm a swim parent. Oh. I have um, two young children that are um, swimmers okay. in, in one of our clubs here in Mako Club. They, um, the, the girl is nine, Zoe is nine, and mm -hmm. Xander, he is 12. Mm -hmm. And they have both participated in nationals. Wow. And we're looking for them to, to go even further and be a part of this yeah. um, very soon, one day. <laughs> we're gonna continue with that right now. And congratulations. Yes, to have your children here is a different situation. Can you imagine yes. as a swim parent watching them in this competition? Oh, man, I could only imagine. <laughs> uh, they, they're, they're having fun in the stands. Nice. Yeah, they're enjoying. They understand the meet. They have a lot of, um, or a lot of their uh, colleagues who are part of it. And so um, they, they are definitely having the time of their lives. Yeah, yeah this is what, what they look if, for. Yeah, if, if, if you're going to go to a meet, this is it. This is it. Yes. This is it. Yes. We had the privilege last year. We took them to Curacao. I had the honor of representing the Minister of Youth Sports and yes. Culture and um, led the delegation to Curacao. And so the kids were able to, to experience um, that in a different country, yeah. to experience Caribbean yeah. in a different country. And we got the five feet then. So to, to bring this one home, um, anticipating a six feet. Is, is just electric. The crowd is definitely having fun oh and God. we're having fun hosting the event. It is. It has yeah. been fantastic here so far. I know, Ariana, yes. you've been to Carifsis before. You've been a part of the Bahamian national team. What's the difference that we've seen so far? I mean, this is just like electric. I think um, I, I'm almost jealous of your kids because <laughs> I want to be back in that. Yes. And, see, and feel this. Yeah. I can yeah. only imagine 
what my career would have been like if I had like had this. This excitement. Charybda was fun for us. Don't yes. get me wrong. Yes. But this, I feel like, is a whole different level. Different league. Yeah. Altogether. Yeah. It's it's um it's great to to have uh, persons like yourselves who represented at the highest level of sports in the world. I I mean it's um it's an awesome experience. The production of the, of this enti entire meet is um it's, it's awesome for for us as a country. I think um when we can have Olympians hosting yeah. and in the background um, yeah. future Olympians. Yeah. Um, many records have been set, um, broken, and, and that's what it's about. Kids, yeah. we see progress, we see a future for the event. Um, we've been having conversations um, in the background about the future of swimming in the, in the yeah. Bahamas because still a lot of our students, a lot of our children aren't exposed. Yeah. And so we have to, to, to bring great exposure for them, yeah. meaning getting pools and facilities um, more available in schools so yes. that as they have um, the other sports, basketball, track and field facilities, they should always have also have access to, yeah. to swim facilities because yeah. we can go so much further. Imagine yeah. competing at this level without at a public school level yeah. having yeah. facilities. Um, available for students a so, whole lot of students yeah so it's an opportunity yeah, it, yeah. Is, it is and with dylan carter he was here he made an olympic qualifying cut you have lamar that was right beside him that's trying to and having that representation for a national behavior but also for the, the ones in the stands is fantastic I, i'm not going to let you i'm not going to keep you because 11 12 this could potentially be where your children are in a couple of years oh yeah i want you to see what it takes uh, and they and they know what's going on right here this um <laughs> This is beautiful. It is 11 12 200 freestyle relay. Yes. Thank you so much thank to you the honorary Thank you for having me. The opportunity was great. Thank you very much. Thank we you. hope to see your children in the future here at the Perfect Games. Woo! Early lead for Trinidad in lane three with a 29 1 2. Beautiful start for her. Look at that. Barbados and Bahamas. What? They are in oh, the mix. Oh, I love this race. Trinidad has faded just a little bit, and it is Bahamas and Barbados now fighting for that top spot. Woo! Look at that. Look at that. Martinez and Taylor from Trinidad is going to come in and jump in the water in lane three. Sienna Campbell and Seymour from Bahamas. Eastman and Jada from Barbados. Uh. Look at Cayman Islands coming in strong with Victoria and Anna in lane four. We just spoke to the Minister of Sport of how Cayman is really trying to build their country and this is what it takes. Representing at every event is how you build that contingency for the future. And we talked about their Cayman kind. They very easily could have come into this race and shrug their shoulders yeah. and not give it at all their yeah. all. But you see them giving it their all. Yeah. Look at Bahamas go. Come on, Bahamas. Look at that sprint. Barbados is definitely trying to go with her, but it looks like it's all gonna be Bahamas for this. Look at that extension. Beautiful race for Bahamas to take the lead. Barbados is gonna come in second. Beautiful. And for that third, it will be Trinidad. What a race. Wow. Wow. Cayman Islands coming in for that fourth place position. Really great time for them. Hopefully next year we'll see them under that two minute mark and we can really see that progression of how Cayman Islands is really working with their 11, 12 year olds. I'm, I'm really interested by this. Why, is, why are we seeing, whoa, less <laughs> relays in at the 11, 12 year old. At yeah. the 11, 12, I'm not sure. I had that same question because at 11, 12, when we were there, there were so many 11, 12 year olds, so many 13, 14 year olds, and the 15, 17 actually was less. Yep. And it is the reverse now. We had four heats of 17, 15, 17 girls and guys, and the 11, 12, we have three. But we know that, we have three. We know that there are enough. So I'm wondering what. I don't know if all the countries really had four athletes, four boys that could come together. I'm not sure. But we have three, Aruba, Bahamas, and Cayman. This is where our future comes from, and to see three heats, I wish we could have had that same number, at least four or five, yeah. but I'm not sure. Look at Bahamas with an early lead. Harold Simmons really powering through this first 50. But Aruba, right next to him, that, the strokes are so different. 
That was a oh, scary yeah, finish. Yeah, In a relay, you want to be very careful with your finish. You don't want to... So for Aruba, that was Windenhall. We saw him in that distance event. So to come back in that sprint is phenomenal to put his team in that second position. We have Robinson in the pool for the Bahamas. We have Whirlman for Aruba. Nice. And Woo! for Cayman Island. Cayman has caught up Aruba. It is a fight for second and third. But out in front, once again, it is Bahamas dominating this 11-12 category for this relay. And on the block, looking at the Bahamian crowd, look at him go, oh my gosh, he is dancing, he is ready to go. We have Beautiful. Joseph anchoring. Look at him, look at him. He, can, he has hands in his pants. His goggle straps are behind this time. Oh my, those are different goggles. Oh, there he is. Those there are different is. goggles. That <laughs> 149.34 is the record. He has 20 seconds from this point. He could pop. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful stroke. Look at his Look at his breathing. He finally put it together. Look at his breathing. He put it together. Beautiful swim. That 25 really clicked something in his head. Look at Joseph. 149.20. Wow. Unofficially a new meet record for Bahamas. A 12-year-old record. A 12-year-old Waterloo. Coming in second, Aruba coming in strong with that 2047. And third, it will be Cayman with a 20569. Joseph with two records in that 53 today already. So look at the Bahamian crowd. So what happens with the 200 freestyle is some of the team gets out down here. Yeah. I just watched one of the Bahamian swimmers get out of the pool, there it is. look, look at the cloth. <laughs> he knew it was a record and he turned around because he was so excited, he didn't know where to go. And a couple of Bahamians ran out and high-fived him. Oh. And I love that. I mean, records are great, but at 11, 12, it is like you are a superstar. Oh my gosh. Oh. And you know what? There are so many dignitaries here tonight. This would be fantastic for the future of financial support, vision, equipment, everything that we spoke about these last four days, what we need to get Bahamas and the Caribbean higher at the international stage. You can't beat this. You cannot beat this. I have a question. 11-12, we did not see Jamaica with Kia alert. Right. I'm Kia Larson, I don't know if they don't have the numbers or if Kia, maybe she was hurt. No, I'm not they sure. Weren't entered. No, we weren't entered. So maybe it is a numbers game. Not Kia, Kai Larson and Kia, yes. Maybe it's a numbers game. But up next, it is 13-14, 200 freestyle relay. There it is. There it is. This is the last race for all these athletes here at the Curve to Games, and they are giving it their all. Last chance to get a medal. Last chance to have those bragging rights. I don't, I can't even call it. No. I don't even know. No. Oh man, look at these girls. They are sticking together. This is what we're gonna see for all Cayman the 30 teams. Cayman Island with the touch first. 28-3-9. There it is, there's Osborne. She had that 50 breaststroke, 100 breaststroke. She has that sprint and she's extending the lead for Cayman Islands in this race. They are fighting for second. Beautiful swim for her, Cayman. Woo! Look at Martinique. Martinique and Barbados. Outside smoke to get back into the mix. This is anybody's race still. Woo! But guess who's anchoring? We've got Riley oh. Watson for Cayman Islands. And we, we have, have Heidi Stout. Barbados. Barbados is now in the lead. If Heidi Stout has the lead, it's over. If Heidi Stout was behind, it's over. It's Either over. Way, it's over. It's over. Hopefully she has a great start right here. Jamaica is fighting for third. We have Cayman fighting for third. That is a good swimmer relay. Everybody's That's diving in for second, third, and fourth. That's a distance swimmer's relay start if I've ever seen it. <laughs> Riley Stout is pushing ahead for that top spot. Cayman and Bahamas are fighting for that second and third. Jamaica and Martinique is getting into the mix. Antigua in main seven is trying to upset them. 
it looks like it's going to be on top. It is beautiful swim. Far Bados for that top spot. 151.96. Coming in second, Bahamas got their hand on the wall. 154.25. And third, it is Cayman Island with a 154.79. What a swim. Oh, what yeah. a swim. The only difference that I saw was probably that second 50. That last 10 meters, they started to pull away from the rest of the pack. Once Barbados jumped in for that third leg, they moved away from the rest of the field. Ariana has an ugly face on. I think she's sitting on the ugly face. She has this face on that she is so excited. She can't control it like a kid in a candy store. We have Victor Ashby coming up oh, next. Victor he's Ashby. leading off. Look at him. He is ready. Oh, he's cold is he again. Wearing goggles? He's he's right goggles. He's wearing goggles. He's not goggles. No, he's not. He's leading off the relay. <laughs> Alia's falling apart. Oh, man. These guys are ready. Oh, my gosh. Look at these lead offs. Victor Ashby, Matthew Kennedy. Simmons, Jaden Mills, Jaden Mills, with the Ego, Gabriel. Gabriel. Oh my God! <sighs> we, we know Martinique is in those outside lanes, but they have upset all the relays so far. Do not count them out. Bermuda in lane one as well. Starting it is Dominic Wright. Look at that freestyle! Wow! 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 That early lead, it will be lane five just by a little bit. Jaden Mills, we saw his fantastic 53 earlier today to take that win. And he's going to do it again. Barbados in lane two. It is Ashby. Look at Ashby. Get it. Look at Ashby. Get it, Ashby. He's going to turn over, hopefully second for Barbados, but it will be Trinidad for that top spot with a 24, 6 4 for Jaden Mills. Look at Trinidad go. That record is from. 2010, and it is Trinidad's record as well. With Dylan Carter, their own Joshua Romney. There it is. These are big men that have this record. They went on to do great things, and here it is. Trinidad, 49-91 at that 100 split. That is absurd. Woo. That is beautiful. Look at Trinidad go. Oh, my gosh. Jamaica in lane three has moved into a medal contention spot. They are followed very closely by Bahamas. Right beside them. Get off of that lane line, gentlemen. Trinidad is going to hold there on to that Trinidad. top spot. Ooh. Beautiful swim for them. 140-90 is the time. Ooh, look at Jamaica. Look at Jamaica. Jamaica is in the water. We have a race for third. Nolan Barrett. Nolan Barrett. We saw him win that 100. He won that 200. He won that 400. He was phenomenal on the relay. And we're going to see him again. Again. Coming in the wall. Touching for a second. Trinidad dominated. And they broke that Trinidadian record. That was 140-90 from 2010 by Trinidad. 14 years later, Trinidad is coming back with four stronger guys to break the record with a 140-61. That is a beautiful swing for Trinidad to dominate with Jaden Mills with a 24 from that first 50. I'm looking over at the other side of the pool because I'm wondering if Dylan Carter is still here or if he left. I'm not seeing him. I I'm not gonna look because that would that that would be disappointing on my end as an athlete. That I would have loved for him to see that. I hope he is there. He is in the stand. That's my optimistic. Coming in second, it is Jamaica, and third. Wow. Wow. We don't have names. We don't have names. Bahamas at block number two. This might be for the best. Oh, oh, I see Cayman lane four. Yep. Block number four. Lane four China starting out. Definitely Jillian Four Cayman Islands in lane four. Broadbelt looks like she's here in lane four. Yep, she's going to be second. Is that Harper Barrowman in the back? I can't read that far. Yes, that is Harper Barrowman with her parka. A distance move right there. She's keeping warm because she knows she did not make the 53 for the 1517. So coming back and putting her as anchor, she knows she has to carry the team. Here it is, Jillian Crooks in lane four. That's the only one we have seen so far. We have Christy Shirley in lane one from Jamaica. She got second in that 53. 
Sorry, she got third, he got 53. So she's gonna try and make her move. Bahamas right beside her. Is it Gibbs? I cannot see. That doesn't... Uh, it possibly could be Gibbs. Julian uh, Kirks is trying to extend, but Bahamas is trying to stay with her. Beautiful stroke for Julian Kirks. She's gonna come in with a 25-8 to read. Second, it will be Jamaica. No. Bahamas was second, but I think that's wrong. Yeah, the scoreboard is wrong. The lanes are, the lanes are changed. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. That is correct. Jamaica in lane five. St. Vincent in lane one. And look at Cayman Island. Bahamas. Bahamas is in the mix. It is Antigua in lane three. Woo, Cayman Islands, Antigua, Bahamas. One, two, three. They are trying to move away from the rest of the pack. Bahamas, home turf. They want it. Coming in, it is Harper. Going to end it for Cayman Islands. Antigua holding strong. In come, on, Bahamas, come on, Bahamas. 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 It's going to turn fourth. It is Cayman. It is a three-way race. Antigua, it is Bahamas. a three-way race. Jamaica trying to get in the mix as well. It is now 25 meters. Jamaica has moved into third position. She is trying to catch Cayman right beside her. Oh my goodness. Cayman Islands is going to extend their lead, followed very closely by Bahamas. Come on, Jamaica Bahamas. Jamaica could get second. She's trying to catch Harper. Oh my God. Oh my God. Seven ninety-three Cayman Islands for the win. Harper held off a charging Jamaican finisher with a 148-20 for Jamaica third. And Tiga by 0 0.02 to outtouch Bahamas for third. Woo! That was a beautiful. Look at this last takeoff. Jamaica Look, jumped Jamaica in. had a phenomenal back half. He jumped in fourth, at least a second and a half away from the rest of the pack. I'm interested to see if that was Shirley. She did come third in that 53, so she could race them down, but to move from fourth to second and almost touch Harper. Beautiful race. Guys, I don't know about you, but I am tired. I'm sad. I know you're at home, this sitting our, down on your couch. I hope you're jumping. Race up and getting excited. This is the last race. This is it. Of the 37th Carifta Games here in Nassau, Bahamas. The Kelly, the Betty Kelly Kenning Aquatic Center has been phenomenal. It is super fast if you have seen that all these records have been very close to being broken. A lot of them have been broken. And we are down oh. to our last race. 133. Oh. This is event 133. The men, 15 and 17. 200 meter freestyle. I know I'm getting ahead of myself here. Cayman Islands is leading off with James Allison. Yup. Yup. And then yep. we have Kimani Bellinger for Martinique anchoring. We've got Dirks for Aruba anchoring. We have Mackenzie for Jamaica anchoring. Yep. We have Marvin Johnson anchoring. Yep. We have Liam Carrington anchoring. I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Guys, if you're at home, turn up or maybe mute. Really depends on where you are because this crowd is going to get loud. That's true and Ariana's gonna get loud. This is the last of my voice. <laughs> oh, it has been a fantastic competition. So far, we are on the last event on day four. These guys are ready. They are ready to swim, ready to be finished. Woo! It looks like we have an official walking the course. Not sure what is going on, but these guys are sitting down at the starter end. Some of them resting their legs. Some of them are up, getting the jitters out. I see Ariana's pat uh, in lane two from Martinique, beating his chest, looking at his competitors. Good for him, that is Martinique. We saw a fantastic 2-800 freestyle relay from them. The next step would be for him to put his foot up on the block. <sighs> he didn't Hands hit. on hips. Splash some water. Or was that before? 
So I don't think that they've called the results official. Oh, no. While we wait for the referee's report, getting ready to starting block Santigua, Barbuda at block number one. I think he did. Mark I Tanique think he did. Block they did it. For the girls? Aruba at block three. Jamaica at four. They are moving Bahamas over. Bahamas at lane five. We're not. Trinidad at Didn't two. they have the... Lane number six. St. Lucia at lane number seven. And the Cayman Islands at block number... So if there is a wait, they have to review lane. something and then say it's official before they move. And it was either the official for lane two or lane three, I believe, which would be Bahamas or Antigua. Yeah, they are talking at the, at the starter tent. So what can happen is the pads on the block have sensors that will tell us if somebody falls started. However, I believe, and Alia can correct me if I'm wrong, World Aquatics rules are it has to be visually called yep. before yep. it can be used, before you can go to pads. Yep. So if an official did not call it, even yep. if the pads say it. No, if the pads say it, they can overrule that as well. But I don't know if this facility has all of that te technology. Because you have to have the underwater cameras, you have to have the, the reactions and the relay starts coming up on real time in the office. I, I tell you what, oh, I'm, a, no. I'm a little bit grateful. I'm hoping it's going to be official. I'm as grateful for this because I don't think my body needed, was ready. Did you need a rest? I don't think I was ready. I, they are waiting. Oh no. They are talking. I don't and know what. Oh. Final awards, individual high point awards. <laughs> there will be after this. There will be high point awards, male and female, for each each um, age group: 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, 17. And then there will be the team combined scores. So after this, definitely stay with us, so we can continue to go. These guys are behind the blocks. They are looking nervous. It, it must be difficult to be ready to, to have that. For 50 freestyle. Right? And then say, you know what? We're going to wait. Let's sit back down. Maybe they're getting chilly. They're putting back on their jackets. Like, whew. This is the equivalent of getting, you are amped up. You are ready to race your 100 meters. Yes. The 100 meter dash. It and then the officials say, Nah. Nah, it would be the equivalent if there's a start, but it was a technical error and they ran like 50 meters and then they have to yep. run it back. Yep. And you're like, but I felt so fresh. And now they have to redo it again. They are taking long to deliberate on this. Once again, the 15, 17 girls, they have not called it yet if it was official. We're waiting right now to see what happens before we continue with the last event of this competition. Oh my word, something that they started at World Aquatics in not just swimming, um, mostly water polo, artistic swimming, when the referees are talking and, and deliberating. And it looks like the scoreboard stands. Oh, there it is. To 17. Beautiful. Something that World Aquatics started that you can see what the referees are talking about. And I love that. Eventually, we're going to see it filter down into all the I love that. Hopefully, right? It was beautiful. And you can make that education and that educated guest and kind of be a part of conversation. But it is solely up to the referees. And the officials are good. We are moving to the last event. Event 133, boys 15, 17, 200 freestyle relay. Once again, I am sad. Lane 1, Antigua, 2, Martinique, Aruba, Jamaica, Bahamas, Trinidad, St. Lucia, Cayman. I am sad this is our last There they are. It is off. They're off. They're off. They're off. Bahamas. Bahamas in lane five is not even on the dock. She's just watching. Just watching. Don't give me anxiety like that, son. As we knew, Allison James for Cayman Islands over there in the far eight, lane number eight leading off. Tristan came third in that 50, so he's going to go with him. It is a 23-60 for Cayman Islands in that first team. They're going to try and hold, but here comes St. Lucia right beside them in lane seven. We saw some amazing yeah. 50 freestyles yeah. today. And some of these guys did not make it back or had the 
opportunity to swim at 53. This is their chance to show that they are one of the best in the Caribbean. Coming in, it is Cayman holding on for that top spot. Aruba has moved into second, and Trinidad for third. Look at these guys. Look Bring at Marvin up. Johnson. Look at Marvin Johnson. Woo. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Trinidad is oh. the turnover first. So the Leah Carrington. Five oh my hundred. gosh. Oh my gosh. Woo. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They are in the water, guys. Look at these guys swim it out. There is a fight for third. It still is anybody. Marvin Johnson. <laughs> Let's look go. At look at his that. Look at that extension. Marvin Johnson is pulling away. Trinidad has fallen. Two seconds. And coming in for the touch. Jamaica with third. Look at that touch at the end. Jamaica now in fourth and fifth. He pulled it back to get third. Uh oh. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, Jamaica. They did not see that they got third. They were wondering what happened. They cannot see the scoreboard. They just realized and they are ecstatic. Look at that last leg. Jamaica jumped in fifth or sixth and he caught up for third. Marvin Johnson dove in right beside Trinidad and said not today. Look at that finish. Liam Carrington has had a fantastic competition so far. But to end that off, right beside Marvin Johnson, jumping in at the same time as Marvin Johnson? No, that, that was what, happening. What a way to finish this meet, ladies that and gentlemen. That wasn't happening today. What a way. Oh my gosh. Bahamas for that top spot. Trinidad for Woo! that second. And Jamaica coming in. Fireworks! Woo! There are fireworks in the building. Looking at the opposite side of the pool deck. There are fireworks. And this Carifta, 37th edition of the Carifta Games here in Nassau, Bahamas. It has been a fantastic night. Ariana has not stopped jumping. She is getting her workout in right now. <laughs> wow. That is beautiful. Let me tell you, Bahamas pulled out all the stops there. Thank you so much to the sponsors that have made this event possible. I, I, I'm going to say this. I'm going on record right here, right now. I am having back. more fun. No. <laughs> I am having more fun at these Carissa games than I have ever had at a swim meet in my entire life. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Look at that. Because when we're swimming, it's ourselves. We want ourselves to do best. When we're here, we have so many favorites. We want everybody to win. Wow, what an event, ladies and gentlemen. What an event. We hope that you guys are excited as we are and we have helped to give you a glimpse and I have, what it's like I have one message. In the stadium. I have one message. Yes. If you didn't come, oh my gosh, you are woo, silly. They're gonna do medal ceremonies tonight. So we're gonna see the medal ceremonies again, followed by high points for all the age groups and then the combined scores as well. So stay tuned and while you're waiting, watch these incredible fireworks and the jump girl band here in Bahamas. As it, it has gone electric, guys. It is electric there in the stadium. Everybody is on their feet. There is not a single person in this stadium sitting down right now. I am sweating. I am dying. <laughs> what a way. Oh. Oh. We knew those relays were going to be epic. We did. And we knew it was going to be a lot closer than the 800s yesterday. Oh, so I'm taking my jacket off. God, oh my gosh, those 800s yesterday were phenomenal. And to come back again with these 200s. Woo! I mean, what? Wow, those are nice. Yes, it, it, the fireworks are great because it, it, it's the end of these Carifta games. However, we know what these fireworks mean. <laughs> we all do. Let's count it out. A decade, woo! A decade ago, Bahamas was 
six coming into Perifta. They have worked throughout these entire years. And today, on home turf, they are going to end the night with their sixth consecutive win here for Bahamas Aquatics. Wow. That is beautiful. All you're seeing is wow on the scoreboard as well. I mean, oh my gosh. The vibes don't stop. Every single one of these athletes have a story. They have obstacles that they had to endure to overcome and be fabulous as they were at these championships. We can take a look at almost every single every, age group, every. every single person, and tell a story. Every single one. It will take forever, and I don't think you guys want to hear that, but it has been a phenomenal night, getting to know all these athletes, getting to see them, their pain, their happiness. Wow. And you know, I made a joke earlier that I feel like I need to take back. <laughs> I was joking about the Alia Atkinson Medal of Valor. You were joking? No, I'm saying no. I'm saying that that should be a Medal of Valor. It really should. But I assigned it to certain people, uh, and I don't think that that was fair. That is true. That is true. Uh, the, the there are so many people that are oh deserving. It, it oh. That's why it has to go by numbers. Number of events that you saw. That's the only thing. That's the only thing that will be fair because everything else, the heart that these people. Danny Nelson from Jamaica, he was sick. He was throwing up from numerous things throughout these days. He said, I want to come back. The 53 is my pet event. He did not make it. And his last chance for a medal was in that relay. His team felt it. They said, you know what? We're going to do it. And they ended up getting third. He's going to finish this championship with a third after being sick for these last three days. That is one story out of oh. countless. Look at, oh, look at them. Oh, 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 look at them. Oh, it's Aqua. Go get them. Go get them. It's Aqua. Oh, that should be you in that outfit. That should. <laughs> I'm upset. <laughs> Why are we doing the peace sign, Aqua? I also do the peace sign when I take a photo. <laughs> I don't know what else to do with my hands. I love it too, but it doesn't seem like an Aqua move. Like, wow, the band has not stopped since we finished that last relay. Can't stop, won't stop. Rockefeller records, because we what? get what? down, baby. We get down, Ooh. baby. There is a whistle. I don't know if they're trying to get everybody together, or maybe that's part of the celebration. I'm not sure. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That is beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, can you hear the crowd? Look at them, there is the behavior. <laughs> that is behavior delegation dancing to the music. There's Will Farrington. There <laughs> Look at him, look at him. <laughs> Oh my gosh. We have Lamar Taylor in there. There it is, there it is. Stuck around. Beautiful. These ladies and gentlemen have pulled out all the stops to repeat their championship win here at the Curse of Games. We thank you. Thank you so much for having us here. We had a good time. Thank you so much, host country. My name is Joseph Reynolds. We are looking forward to seeing you in Kingston, Jamaica, when we have an international competition. Thanks for having us, all the countries that participated this time. Thank you so much, Mike, and for taking over your job. I'm just doing one more so thing. So I believe we okay, are hearing so somebody from Jamaica fun. speaking right now on the Come microphone. On Not sure what's going on. Everybody's just excited. We are here. Everybody is excited. Everybody wants to share their excitement tonight. Wow, that was a beautiful. We will see our next 38th oh. edition of Her If the Games in Trinidad. So definitely book your tickets now and get in on the mix because Trinidad was here. Trinidad saw the level that Bahamas rose this Carissa to, and they want to try and get better. Don't wait. Next year. Do not wait. <laughs> no, don't wait. The earlier you buy your tickets, the cheaper it is. Yeah, seriously. I mean, let me look online now, I guess. <laughs> oh my I gosh. Can't miss it. The dancing has continued. 
once again, we are waiting for the officials to get all the athletes together to have on their medal podium outfits to get that medal for the relay. And then we're gonna have age group top for each age group, male and female, and then the combined scores at the end. So definitely stay with us. It's going to be phenomenal. And a party in your home if you turn up the volume. Party in the backyard. Uh, uh, party all night long. Uh, uh. Break and scrape until the morning come. We gonna party till the break of dawn. Blah, blah. I'm available for parties, <laughs> uh, anniversaries, weddings. Um, um, for mitzvahs, bot mitzvahs, oh Pisa and Yeras. Wow. Wow. What a shout out. My I niece. love it. All the parents are coming together. It is a smorgasbord of parents. You don't know from what country. Everybody's just so excited. The floodgates have opened. Wow. Oh, oh. There's ice cream. I see somebody with ice cream. There is ice cream on the premises. Who do I need to talk to about this? These athletes just finished, and now they're stuffing their face with ice cream. I love it, and I want it. I can't even recap all the, the records that were broken because there were so many, and I don't want to miss any. It has been phenomenal. Phenomenal here at these 37th Perfect Games competition. Oh my gosh. What an absolute mayhem <laughs> we have in here. Mayhem is a good word. Mayhem is a great word. Look so, at this. So the wheels have fallen off for Ali and I a little bit ago. But the wheels have fallen off for everybody. Oh, <laughs> they can't hear me. It was very similar to that 800. They were out of it. They were about they it. They were out of it. And to catch back up. Much heart and passion. And that third. I knew better than to call that 800 freestyle relay before it ended. <laughs> I knew better. Everybody heard it. Ariana was the one that called it. Oh. You heard it. I did no such thing. The party has started there. All the hugs, all the tears. Oh my gosh, this is so emotional, guys. It's, 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 it's fantastic because you had all the heart. <laughs> oh. Ali is currently high-fiving Team Jamaica. They have come up into the stand to say hello to their parents. It is just a absolute I'm serious. If you're not here, you are missing out on this energy. I, you know, going into this evening, I was so tired. I couldn't wait I, to be done. I am always energized at the end of the session. It's like such an energetic group. Leaving our hotel this afternoon. It was rough. I was like, I don't think I'm going to make it. I was still somewhat dreaming and just walking. Alia was being very weird. But I am awake, everyone. I am awake. There, you know what it is? Throughout this competition, you have to, you have such tears between the coaches and the parents and the teammates and the athletes. And to come here and see such elation, it is beautiful. And then to end the night back again in tears, just from oh, it's been beautiful. You rise and you fall. You rise and you fall <laughs> with the swimmers. I am so proud of everybody. Oh my gosh. Right now we're gonna see a really fantastic time here in the, in the competition pool. It looks like it's gonna take a little bit longer for everybody to come together with all this partying. I don't think any medal ceremony is actually going to happen. I don't think we can. I, I don't think any of that is going to go. But oh. we are going to recap very nicely. If you want to see everything that's going to happen later, I definitely suggest that you guys go out on YouTube, check it out, watch not just tonight, but all the sessions. Honestly. If you're a young swimmer wanting to be here at the Curse Games, check it out online.
it has been such an exciting race. We have had so many people come out to make this possible. Thank you so much to all the sponsors. Thank you to everybody. Thank you so much to Ariana for being on this journey with me and with all these athletes. This has been phenomenal. Thank you, Alia, for being here. I don't even know if I have a voice anymore. <laughs> we have had so much fun yeah. calling these. And yes. I think it is just a testament to what we are seeing coming up in the Caribbean. It, they, they made it fun. They made it fun. I've said it numerous times. Yes, we have succeeded. Yes, there are many coming after us, but it takes a village, it takes a community, and this Caribbean is really pushing for an international scene. We are going to dominate in the next couple of years, and it's going to be fantastic. The music just stopped, and I... You can hear it now. I can hear my heartbeat in my ears. Just about. We want to thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for being on this journey with us. Once again, signing out for the last time, I am Ali Atkinson, Jamaican Olympian and world record holder. And I am Ariana Vanderpool Wallace, Bahamian Olympian and eight and under <laughs> former record holder for the Bahamas. Guys, have a great night. We will see you next year at the Curve of the Games in Trinidad. Be there or be square. Have a great year, guys. Alyssa Ferguson.